Okay. Greetings to all right here. Greetings to those who are watching. Welcome to Lawyer in the Name of the Most High. And we're here to give thanks and credit for sending his holy anointed messenger, his only messenger known as Yeshua the Christ. Hallelujah. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open up a prayer. Then we're going to read the Shema. And then we'll hop into the lesson. Are you all bow? Heavenly Father, we come to your name of Christ to say thank you. Thank you for bringing our brothers and sisters here. And we thank you for uh, for those who are watching. We pray that uh, what we bring out this evening, or this afternoon rather, it be edifying to your name and to bring others into the light. We ask and pray in Christ's name. Yeshim Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I'll be reading uh, the Shema, the Deuteronomy 6, verses uh, 4 to 6. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad. Weachavta et Yahweh Elohecha, Beko Lebabecha, Beko Nafshecha, Beko Meodecha. We have you, Adabarim, Ele Asher Anochi, Mesaweha, Ayom Al Lebabecha. That is Shema Israel, hear and obey Israel. Yahweh our Elohim, Yahweh is one compound in you and you are to love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart <clears throat> with all of your being with all of your strength and these words uh, and the words of these are these words that I am commanding you today to be on your heart Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Right, today uh, yeah. <clears throat> starting at the Kershaw and we are going into uh, Exodus chapter 10. Make sure you speak up, yeah. It's a good okay. mic, but make sure you speak up. You know All right. I mean? sure. Use your passionate voice. That's it. That's on the on the warrior mode. <laughs> that's, that's, yeah, that's, that's the big talk for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You use that one. <laughs> All right. Um, Testify. That's all you got to talk. Get loud. <laughs> all right, everybody. This week's prayer shawl was uh was it started off in Exodus chapter ten. Uh -huh. The uh, term is bow. It means to move or to go. Uh -huh. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna um, read the prayer shawl. We'll uh, go around the table. I'll start it off. And I'll pick it up at Exodus chapter ten. We're gonna pick up at verse one. In the reads, Adonai spoke to Moses, "Go to Pharaoh, for I have made him and his servants hard, hard hearted." So that I can demonstrate these signs of mine among them, so that you can tell your son and grandson about what I did to Egypt and about my signs that I demonstrated among them, yeah. and so that you will know. I'm so, I'm sorry, you read that again. Among them, so that you will know that I am Lord or Adonai. Moses and Aaron went into, into Pharaoh and said to him, Here is what Adonai, God of the Hebrews, says How much longer will you refuse to submit to me? Let my people go. So they can worship me. Otherwise, if you refuse to let my people go tomorrow, I will bring locusts into your territory. One won't be able to see the ground. So completely will the locusts cover it. They will eat anything you still have that escaped the hill, including every tree you have grown in the field. They will fill your houses and those of your servants and all of the Egyptians. It will be like nothing your fathers or their fathers had ever seen since the day they were born until today. Mm. Then he turned back and left. Pharaoh, Pharaoh's servant said to him, how much longer must this fellow be a snare unto us? Let the people go and worship Adonai their God. Don't you understand yet that Egypt is being destroyed? So Moses and Aaron were brought <laughs> to Pharaoh again and said to them, go worship Adonai your God, but who exactly is going? Moses answered, we will go with our young, our old, our sons, our daughters, and we will go with our flocks and herds. You must celebrate a feast to Adonai. Pharaoh said to them, Adonai certainly will be with you if I ever let you go with your children. It's clear that you're up mm. to no good. Wow. <clears throat> Ain't that something? <laughs> Nothing doing. Just the men among you must go and worship Adonai. That's what you want, want isn't it? They And they were, were driven out of Pharaoh's presence. <clears throat> Okay. Adonai said to Moshe, reach out your hand over the land of Egypt so that locusts will invade the land and eat every plant that the hail has left. Moshe reached out with his staff over the land of Egypt and Adonai caused an east wind to blow on the land all day and all night. And in the morning, the east wind brought the locusts. 
The locusts went up over all the land of Egypt and settled throughout Egypt's territory. It was an invasion more severe than there had ever been before or will ever be again. They completely covered the ground so that the ground looked black. They ate every plant growing from the ground and all the fruit of the trees left by the hail. Not one green thing remained, not a tree and not a plant in the field in all the land of Egypt. Pharaoh hurried to summon Moshe and Aharon and said, I have sinned against Adonai, your God, and against you. Now, therefore, please forgive my sin just this once <laughs> and intercede with Adonai, your God, so that he will eat. He will at least take away from me this deadly plague. He went out from Pharaoh and interceded with Adonai. Adonai reversed the wind and made it blow very strongly from the west. It took up the locust and drove them into the sea of stuff. Not one locust remained on Egyptian soil, but Adonai made Pharaoh hard-hearted, and he didn't let the people of Israel go. Adonai said to Moshe, reach out your hand toward the sky, and there will be darkness over the land of Egypt, darkness so thick it can be felt. Moshe reached out his hand toward the sky, and there was a thick darkness in the entire land of Egypt for three days. People couldn't see each other. No one went anywhere for three days, but all the people of Israel had light in their homes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Pharaoh summoned Moshe and said, go worship Adonai, only leave your flocks and herds behind. Your children may go with you, Moshe answered. You must also see to it that we have sacrifices and burnt offerings so that we can sacrifice to Adonai our God. <clears throat> Our livestock will also go with us. Not a hoof will be left behind because we must choose some of them to worship Adonai, our God, and we, do not, and we don't know which ones we will need to worship Adonai till we get there. But Adonai made Pharaoh hard-hearted and he would not let them go. Pharaoh said to them, get away from me and you better not see my face again because the day you see my face, you will die. Moshe answered, well spoken. I will see your face no more. Chapter 11. Adonai said to Moshe, I'm going to bring still one more plague on Pharaoh and Egypt, and after that, he will let you leave here. When he does let you go, he will throw you out completely. Now tell the people that every man is to ask his neighbor and every woman her neighbor for gold and silver jewelry. Adonai made the Egyptians favorably disposed toward the people. Moreover, Moshe was regarded by Pharaoh's servants and the people as a very great man in the land of Egypt. <clears throat> Moshe said, <laughs> here is what Adonai says. About midnight, I will go out into Egypt, and all the firstborn in the land of Egypt will die. From the firstborn of the Pharaoh sitting on his throne to the firstborn of the slave girl at the hand mill, and all the firstborn of the livestock, there will be a horrendous wailing throughout all the land of Egypt. There has never been another like it, and there never will be again. But not even a dog's growl <clears throat> will be heard against any of the people of Israel, neither against the people nor against animals. In this way, you will realize that Adonai distinguished him, distinguishes between Egyptians and Israels. All your servants will come down to me, prostrate themselves before me, and say, Get out you and all the people who follow you and after that i will go out and he went out from pharaoh and the heat of anger adonai said to moshe pharaoh will not listen to you so that still more of the wonders will be shown in the land of egypt moshe and aaron did all these wonders before pharaoh but Adonai had made Pharaoh hard-hearted, and he didn't let the people of Israel leave his land. Adonai spoke to Moshe and Aaron, and in the land of Egypt, he said, You are to begin your calendar with this month. It will be the first month of the year for it will be the first month of the year for you. Speak to all the assembly of Israel and say, On the tenth day of this month, each man is to take a lamb of a or kid his for his family one per household except that if the household is too small for a whole lamb or a kid then he and his next door neighbor should share one 
dividing it into portions to the number of people eating it. Your animal must be without defect, a male in its first year, and you may choose it from either the sheep or goats. You are to keep it until the 14th day of the month, and then the entire assembly of the community of Israel will slaughter it at dusk. They are to take some of the blood and smear it on the two sides and top of the door frame at the entrance of the house in which they eat. That night, they are to eat the meat, roast it in the fire. They are to eat it with matzah and mara, or bitter herbs. Don't eat it raw or boiled, but roast it in the fire with its head, the lower parts of its legs, and its inner organs. Let nothing of it remain till morning. If any of it does remain, burn it up completely. Here is how you are to eat it. With your belt fastened your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you are to eat it hurriedly. It is Adonai's Pesach, or Passover, for that night I will pass through the land of Egypt and kill all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both men and animals, and I will execute judgment against all of the, of the, all the gods of Egypt. I am Adonai. The blood will serve you as a sign marking the house where you are when I see the blood. I will pass over Heb, Heb, or Hebrew Pesach. You, when I strike the land of Egypt and the death blow will not strike you. This will be the day. This will be a day for you to remember and celebrate as a festival of Adonai from generation to generation. You are to celebrate it by a perpetual regulation. For seven days, you are to eat matzah, and on the first re day, remove the leaven from your houses. For whoever eats hametz, leavened bread, from the first to the seventh day is to cut is to be cut off from Israel. On the first and seventh days, you are to have an assembly <clears throat> set aside for God. On these days, and on these days, no work is to be done except what each must do to prepare his food. You may do only that. You are to observe the festival of Matzah, for on this very day. I brought you your division out of the land of Egypt. Therefore, you are to observe this day from generation to generation by a perpetual regulation from the evening of the fourth day of the first month until the evening of the 21st day. You are to eat metza. During those seven days, no leaven is to be found in your houses. Whoever eats food with hametz in it is to be cut off from the community of Israel. It doesn't matter whether he is a foreigner or a citizen of the land. Eat nothing with hametz in it. Where who wherever you live, eat metza. <clears throat> Chapter, I mean, verse twenty-one. Then Moshe called for all the leaders of Israel and said, "Select and take lambs for your families and slaughter the pesach lamb. Take a bunch of hyssop leaves and dip it in the blood which is in the basin, and smear it." On the two sides and the top of the door frame through to kill uh, then none none of you is to go out of the door of his house until morning for ad and i will pass through to, to kill the egyptians but when he sees the blood on the top of the two sides uh, ad and i will pass over the door and will not allow the slaughter to enter the ho your houses and kill you you are to observe this as a law you are you and your descendants forever when you come to the land which Adonai will give you, as he promised, you are to observe this ceremony. When your children ask, what do you mean this ceremony? Say, it is the sacrifice of Adonai's besides Passover, because Adonai passed over the houses of the people of Israel in Egypt. When he killed the Egyptians but spared our houses, the people of Israel bowed their heads in worship. Then the people of Israel went and did as Adonai had ordered Moshe and Aharon. This is what they did. Bless you. At midnight, Adonai killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, from the firstborn of Pharaoh sitting on his throne to the firstborn of the prisoner in the dungeon, and all the firstborn of livestock. Pharaoh got up in the night, he and all his servants and all the Egyptians, and there was horrendous wailing in Egypt, for there wasn't a single house without someone dead in it. He summoned Moshe and Aharon by night and said, Up and leave my people, both you and the people of Israel, and go, 
serve Adonai as you said. Take, take both your flocks and your herds as you said and get out of here. But bless me too. The Egyptians pressed to send the people out of the land quickly because they said, otherwise we'll all be dead. The people took their dough before it and became before it had become leaven and wrapped their kneading bowls in their cloths on their shoulders. The people of Israel had done what Moshe had said. They had asked the Egyptians to give them silver and gold jewelry and clothing. And Adonai had made the Egyptians so favorably disposed towards the people that they had let them have whatever they requested. Thus they plundered the Egyptians. The people of Israel traveled from Ram Ramses to Sukkot, some 600,000 men on feet, not counting children. A mixed crowd was also went up with them, as well as livestock in, li livestock in large numbers, both flocks and herds. They baked matzah loaves from the dough they had brought out of Egypt since it was unleavened because they had been driven out of Egypt without time to prepare supplies for themselves. The time the people of Israel lived in Egypt was 430 years. At the end of 430 years to the day, all the divisions of Adonai left the land of Egypt. This was a night when Adonai kept vigil to bring them out of the land of Egypt. And this same night continues to be a night when Adonai keeps vigil for all the people of Israel through all their generations. <clears throat> Adonai said to Moshe and Aharon, this is the regulations for the Peshach lamb. No foreigner is to eat it. But if anyone has a slave he brought for money, when you have circumcised him, he may eat it. Neither a traveler nor a hired servant may eat it. It is to be eaten in one house. You are not to take any of the meat outside of the house, and you are not to break any of the bones. The whole community of Israel is to keep it. If a foreigner staying with you wants to observe Adonai's Peshach, Peshach, all his males must be circumcised. Then he may take part and observe it. He will be like the citizen of the land, but no uncircumcised person is to eat it. The same teaching is to apply equally to the citizen and to the foreigner, foreigner living among you. All the people of Israel did just as Adonai had ordered Moshe and Aharon. On that very day, Adonai brought the people of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their divisions. Adonai said to Moshe, set aside for me all the firstborn. Whatever is first from the womb among the people of Israel, both of humans and of animals, belongs to me. Moshe said to the people, remember this day on which you left Egypt, the abode of slavery, because Adonai, by the strength of his hand, has brought you out of this place. Do not eat chametz. You are leaving today in the month of Aviv. When Adonai brings you into the land of the Canaanite, Hittite, Emori, Hivi, and Yebusi, which is the, the Canaanites, Hittites, Amorites, Hivites, and Jebusites, right? Which he swore to your ancestors to give you a land flowing with milk <clears throat> and honey. You are to observe this ceremony in this month. For seven days, you are to eat matzah. And the seventh day is to be a festival for Adonai. Matzah is to be eaten throughout the seven days. Neither Hametz nor leavening agents are to be seen with you throughout your territory. On that day, you are to tell your son, it is because of what Adonai did for me when I left Egypt. Moreover, it will serve you as a sign on your hand and as a reminder between your eyes so that Adonai's Torah may be on your lips, because with a strong hand, Adonai brought you out of Egypt. Therefore, you are to observe this regulation at its proper time, year after year. When Adonai brings you into the land of the Canaanite, as he swore to you and your ancestors, and gives it to you, you are to set apart for Adonai everything that is first from the womb. Every firstborn male animal will belong to Adonai. Every firstborn from a donkey, you are to redeem with a lamb. But if you choose not to redeem it, you must break its neck. But from people, you are to excuse me. But from people, you are to redeem every firstborn son. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah. 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 Ye
excuse me, when it's sometime, when at some future time, your son asks you, what is this? Then say to him with a strong hand, Adonai brought us out of Egypt, <clears throat> excuse me, out of the abode of slavery. When Pharaoh was unwilling to let us go, Adonai killed all the firstborn males in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of humans and the firstborn of animals. This is why I sacrificed Adonai any male that is first from the room, womb of any animal. But all the first ones of my sons are redeemed. This will serve as a sign on your hand and at the front of your headband around your forehead that with a strong hand, Adonai brought us out of Egypt. I'm sorry. Are we stopping it? Uh -huh. No, we're we, gonna we, keep we, we got some more to do. Okay. Yeah, so we just give me some to you. Okay. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah, we actually continue to read. We actually read the Torah portion, mm -hmm. and then we read the prophet version that goes with it, mm -hmm. or the New and then the New Testament or the Gospel portion. Okay. And then we actually come back after that and yeah, see if we make the parallels or the correlations. Oh, what's the you know, Asking questions or giving me comments and things of that nature. Exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah. So that's the flow. Okay. Yeah. 6-9. Okay, Everybody so page 690. So yes. that's uh, Jeremiah chapter 46, starting at verse 13, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 690, you said? Yep. King mm -hmm. Jimmy. That's Jeremiah what? 46, 46. verse 13. 13, right? Yeah, so that's three. 13 to where we stop at 13. 13 to where? 28. Yeah. So um, actually, I should just do this with notes, right? Um, the Brit Hahad, the Brit Hadashah, let me just say it all. Um, the Brit Hadashah portion. So it's Luke chapter 2, verses. 22 to 24 and then john chapter 19 verse 31 to 37 and then acts chapter 13 verses 16 to 17 mm -hmm. and then revelation 8 uh, verses 6 all the way to chapter 9 verse 12 and then all of revelation 16. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay and i'm gonna suggest we read 13 through 51 oh. in, the, in the Acts portion. In the 13 Acts through 51? Yeah, in the Acts portion. So you're talking about verses 16 all the way to verse... 13 all the way to... Okay. Oh, starting at 13 instead of 16. Right. Okay, so 13... So chapter 13... And then verse 13 through 51. Okay. So normally I would read this... Yeah. But my voice is struggling a little bit. So. Uh, this word Adonai spoke to Jeremiah, the prophet concerning how Nebuchadnezzar the king, or king, a bevel, will come and attack the land of Egypt. Proclaim in Egypt, announce in uh, Mig Migdal, announce in Noth, and uh, to Pantius, say, mm -hmm. take your stand, get ready, for all around you the sword, the sword is destroying. Why has your strong one be, uh, been overthrown? He failed to stand because Adonai pushed him down. Mm -hmm. He caused many to trip. Yes, they fell all over each other. Then they said, let's go, uh, let's get up. Let's return our own people back to the land where we were born, <coughs> away from the sword that, that destroys. Mm -hmm. They cried, they, or they cried there, Pharaoh king of Egypt, make noise. But he lets the right time for action slip by. Hmm. As I live, says the king, whose name is Adonai? Says uh, mm -hmm. When he comes, he will be as mighty mm -hmm. as Taver among the mountains, mm -hmm. as Carmel next okay. to the sea. Right. Daughter living in uh, daughter living in Egypt. Prepare that you need for exile, for Noth will become a ruin laid waste without inhabitant egypt is a beautiful female calf but a horse fly from the north has come to attack her her mercenaries too that she had with her with uh where like uh excuse me where like well-fed calves in a stable 
but they too have withdrawn in retreat. They all ran away without standing their ground, for their day of disaster has come over them, the time for them to be punished. Egypt hissed like a snake as the, uh, as the enemy's army marches ahead, attacking her with their axes, with lumbermen chopping trees. They cut down her force, saying, Adonai, for they cannot, uh, cannot be numbered. Yes, there are more of them that, uh, than locusts, far too many to count. The daughters of Egypt is put to shame, handed over to people from the north. Adonai. Oh, okay. Actually, went over, but it's good because it was good context. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Um, so now we go to uh, Luke. Oh, you didn't want to read to 28? We're going all the way to 28. You want to all the way to 28? Okay. That was the pair. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. My bad. Yeah. 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 Why are you saying that? That was good. I did that. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Some people be having it already in their head. Uh, we forgive you. Wait till you try to get. I know. Uh, right? uh, <laughs> did we just? Did we just have this talk about patience? Uh, how, do you, how do you say this? Uh, Adonai. Savo. 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 The God of Israel says, "I will punish Ammon for uh, from No Pharaoh in Egypt." with her gods and kings that is pharaoh and those who trust in him i will hand them over to those who uh, seek their lives to uh nebuchadnezzar king of babel and to his servants but afterwards egypt will be inhabited uh inhabited as in the past says adonai yet don't be afraid Yaakov, my servant don't be uh don't be distressed israel for i will save you from faraway places, and your offspring from the lands where they are held captive. Yaakov will return and be at peace, quiet, with no one uh, to make him afraid. Don't be afraid, Yaakov, my servant, says Adonai, for I am with you. I will finish off all the nations where I have, uh, where I have scattered you. However, you, are, you I will not finish off. I will discipline you as you, you deserve, but not completely destroy you. Ooh. Man, that's a lot. And you was trying to cut that off. Mm -mm. My bad. I was trying to cut that off. You talking about uh, verse twenty? First time I saw. Man. See, I got you. You're right. First time I saw. Let me have issues with that. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to you. I know. No, this discipline. I just want to do it right the first time. <laughs> Oh yeah, I want to do that. You know what? Love how it looks. I can get strength like like Just tell me once, please. I don't want to walk. The golden guys are the best. Build a character. So you can't build your character. It's a lot. Yeah, I can. I got a vivid imagination. Because you know, not the tattoo. You ain't gonna tell me that. Well, I know. You I'm sorry, I just saw it on the visual. The skin, or the hide, they call it. Yeah, they use the hide for clothing, stuff. Yeah, fertilizer, all that. A calf is just a baby. That can be like a baby oxen, right? Or the oxen, that's. Isn't a is an ox? How does an ox compare to a cow? Yeah, same. It's a cow. Okay, because mm -hmm. I was just thinking how the olive is what? the. Well, it's not a cow, ox. but they can. They're in the, the same baby family. calf is in the same family. Yeah, bovine. Yeah, you call it a you call it a calf. Because a cow, an ox to a cow is like a mule to a horse. Right. Yeah. Exactly. In the, right. in, in, the kid, right. in that sense, but the, you, the kid you is the male lamb, right? right. The, where, what it says, kid. Yeah. It's the male lamb. Okay. But they're symbolically different, though. Like, All right, let's read, and then we'll, uh -huh. we'll get back. Okay. So what you got? Luke? Okay, so Luke, Luke. Luke 2 is on page 1473. Mm -hmm. She well, already opened the window up for everybody yeah, to yeah, start yeah. talking. So. Insta I, I cut folks instigator. <laughs> instigator. Cut folks off. <laughs> Luke 2, what verse? 24. 22. 22. 24. To 24. <laughs> everybody had a when the time came for the purification according to the Torah of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to Adonai. 
as it is written in Torah Adonai, every firstborn is, is to be consecrated to Adonai and also to offer a sacrifice of a pair of doves and two young pigeons as required to the Torah of Adonai. Is that it? Mm -hmm. And else? firstborn male, yep. Acts. So we're going John. to John, um, which is 1553, chapter 19. 1553. All right, and we're, we'll start at 1931 through yeah. 37. Yes. 1931 through 37. Okay. And it reads. It was preparation day, and the Judeans did not want the bodies to remain on the stake on the Sabbath, since it was especially important, important Sabbath, so they so they asked Pilate to have the legs broken and the bodies removed. The soldier came and broke the legs of the first man. Mm -hmm. Lord, say that over. Oh, we couldn't hear nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. The soldiers came and broke the legs of the first man who had been put on the stake besides Yeshua. Then the legs of the other one. But when they got to Yeshua and saw that his saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. However, one of the soldiers stabbed at his side with a spear. And that once blood and water flow, the man saw he had, I'm sorry, the man saw it has testified about it, and his testimony is true. And he knows and he tells the truth. So you to trust, I'm sorry, so you too can trust. For these things happen in order to fulfill the passage of the tonight. Not one of his bones will be broken. And again, another passage says, they will look at him whom they have pierced. Mm. 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 Now we can go to Acts, which is fifteen seventy nine. And that's where you wanted to start at verse 13, brother. Yes, ma'am. So, chapter 13, verse 13. <clears throat> verse 13. Okay. Y'all can still go around, man. You want me to read? Oh, okay. Verse <laughs> 13. 13, 13. 13, 13. And we're going to go to 51, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <clears throat> Having set sail from Paphos, Shaul and his companions arrived at Perga in Pamphylia. There, Yochanan left them and returned to Jerusalem, but the others went on from Perga to Pisidian, Antioch, and on Shabbat they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading from the Torah and from the prophets, the synagogue leaders sent them a message. Brothers, if any of you has a word of exhortation from the people, speak. So Shaul stood, motioned with his hand, and said, Men of Israel and God-fearers, listen. The God of, the God of this people, Israel, chose our fathers. He made the people great during the time when they were living as aliens in Egypt, and with a stretched-out arm, he led them out of that land. For some 40 years, he took care of them in the desert, and after he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave their land to his people as an inheritance. All this took about 450 years. After that, he gave them judges, down to the prophet Shemuel, Samuel. Samuel. Thank you. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Shaul ben Kish, a man from the tribe of Benjamin. After 40 years, God removed him and raised up David as king for them, making his approval known with these words. I found David, Ben Yeshai, to be a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want. In keeping with his promise, God has brought to Israel from this man's descendants a deliverer, Yeshua. Now, before the coming of Yeshua, Yochanan proclaimed to all the people of Israel an immersion in connection with turning to God from sin. But as Yochanan was ending his work, he said, who do you suppose I am? Well, I'm not. But after me is coming someone, the sandals of whose feet I am unworthy to untie. Brothers, sons of Abraham and those among you who are God fearers. It is to us that the message of this deliverance has been sent. For the people living in Jerusalem, excuse me, Jerusalem, and their leaders did not recognize who Yeshua was or understand the message of the prophets read every Shabbat. Mm. So they fulfilled that message by condemning him. 
They could not find any legitimate ground for a death sentence. Nevertheless, they asked Pilate to have him executed. And when they had carried out all those things written about him, he was taken down from the stake and placed in a tomb. I'm sorry, I'm getting mad. <laughs> but God raised him from the dead. He appeared for many days to those who had come up with him from the um, Galil to Jerusalem. And they are now his witness to the people. As for us, we are bringing you the good news that what God promised the, to the fathers, he has fulfilled for us, the children, in raising up Yeshua, as indeed it is written in the second Psalm. Mm -hmm. You are my son. Today I have become your father. Mm -hmm. And as for his raising up, raising him up from the dead to return to decay no more, he said, I give you the holy and trustworthy things of David to you. This is explained elsewhere. You will not let your Holy One see decay. For David did indeed serve God's purposes in his own generation. But after that, he died, um, was buried with his fathers, and did see decay. However, the one God raised up did not see decay. Therefore, brothers, let it be known to you that through this man is proclaimed forgiveness of sins. That is, God clears everyone who puts his trust in this man, even in regard to all the things concerning you, concerning which you could not be, be cleared by the Torah of Moshe. Watch, watch out then so that this word found in the prophets may not happen to you. You mockers, look and marved, marvel and die. For in your own time, I am doing a work that you simply will not believe, mm -hmm. even if someone explains it to you. Man. You hear that, Beard? As they. <laughs> Man. Um, as they left, the people invited Shaul and Barnaba to tell them more about these matters the following Shabbat. When the synagogue meeting broke up, many of the born Jews and devout um, proselytes mm -hmm. followed Shaul and Barnaba, who spoke with them and urged them to keep holding fast to the love and kindness of God. The next Shabbat, nearly the whole city gathered together to hear the message about the Lord. But when the Jews who had not believed saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and spoke up against what Shaul was saying and insulted him. However, Shaul and Barnaba answered boldly, it was necessary that God's word be spoken first to you. But since you are rejecting it and are judging yourselves unworthy of eternal life, why? We're turning to the Gentiles. For this is what Adonai has ordered to us to do. I have set you as a light for the nations to be for deliverance to the ends of the earth. Whew. No, wait, I'm not done yet. That's, that was just heavy. That was heavy. The Gentiles were very happy to hear this. They honored the message about the Lord, and as many as had been appointed to eternal life came to trust. I know you're tired, but read that one again. <laughs> I'm not tired. I'm just, it's heavy. Oh, it. The yeah. Gentiles were very happy to hear this. They honored the message about the Lord, and as many as had been appointed to eternal life came to trust. And the message about the Lord was carried throughout the whole region. But the unbelieving Jews stirred up the women, God fearers, of high social standing, and the leading men of the city. And they organized persecution against Shaul and Barnaba and expelled them from their district. However, Shaul and Barnaba shook off the dust of their feet against them and went on to Iconium and the Talmudim were filled with joy and with the Ruach HaKodesh. Okay. Thank you. Damn, damn. <laughs> that was heavy. That was heavy. Yeah. So that was heavy, huh? that was heavy. Because <laughs> mm. we, we be emotional. <laughs> That's the easy way. 
I'm like, get to win it first, it, it then don't, the men will follow. It, you know, it's, it's like, don't take <laughs> No, they said they start up the God, women God fearing and the leading men of the city. They start up everybody. See, you the church, <laughs> Let's start singing that song, Stir Up the Gift. Mm-mm. You. <laughs> I'm start singing. Get that know. sway going. Okay. And after Acts, uh, what was it? Revelation? Chapter 8, verse 6. Yes. It's on page 1792. Revelation 8. Revelation 16. Revelations 8. Revelations 8. Chapter, uh, chapter 8, verse 6. 1792. Did you say we're reading all of it? No, that's all of 16. Um, I'm talking about the, 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 added, the, the, the added to the parasol. Well, yeah, he added an axe. That, that was, was what I read. Okay. Yeah, we did. Are you missing something? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to read 8, 16. Uh, eight, eight, up. Eight, Come on. I am. 8, okay. 6, Chapter 8, verse 6. Now the seven angels with the seven shofars prepared to sound them. The first one sounded his shofar, and there came hail and fire mingled with blood, and it was thrown down upon the earth. A third of the earth was burned up, a third of the trees were burned up, and all the grass was burned up. The second angel sounded his shofar. And what looked like an enormous blazing mountain was hurled into the sea. A third of the sea turned to blood. A third of the living creatures in the sea died. And a third of the ships were destroyed. The third angel sounded his shofar and a great star blazing like a torch fell from the sky in onto the third of the rivers and onto the springs of water. The name of the star was Bitterness. And a third of the water became bitter, and many people died from the water from the water that had been turned bitter. Mm. The fourth angel sounded his shofar, and a third of the sun was struck, also a third of the moon, and a third of the stars, so that a third of them were darkened, and the and the day had third less light, and the night likewise. Then I looked, and I heard a lone eagle give a loud cry as it flew in mid heaven. Woe, woe! Woe to the people living on the earth because of the remaining blast from the three angels who have yet to sound their shofars. Chapter 9. The fifth angel sounded his shofar, and I saw a star that had fallen out of the heaven onto the earth. And he was given the key to the shaft leading down to the abyss. He opened the shaft of the abyss, and there went up smoke like smoke from the shaft, like the smoke of a huge furnace. The sun was darkened, and the sky too by the smoke from the shaft. Then out of the smoke onto the earth came locusts, and they were given power like this power the scorpions have on earth. They were instructed not to harm the grass on the earth or any green plant or any tree, but only the people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. The locusts were not allowed to kill them, only to inflict pain on them for five months, and the pain they caused was like the pain of a scorpion sting. In those days, people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will, but death will elude them. Now these locusts look like horses outfitted for battle. On their heads were that, or what looked like crowns of gold, and their faces were like human faces. They had hair like women's hair, and teeth were like those of lions. Their chests were like iron breastplates, and their sound in their wings made the was made like the war of many horses and chariots rushing into battle. They had tails like those of scorpions with stings and in their tails was the power to hurt people for five months. They had a king over them, the angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon and in our language, destroyer. The first woe is past, but there are still two woes to come. The sixth angel... uh, Oh, that, that's it. it. That's mm-hmm. it. Okay. Yeah, that was it. I'm just making sure. Revelation 16, 16. all you. That's my question face. Oh. <laughs> okay, chapter 16. I heard a loud voice from the sanctuary say to the seven angels, Go and pour out on the earth the seven bowls of God's fury. 
So the first one went and poured his bowl onto the earth, and distinguishing and painful mm. sores appeared. Disgusting. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. Disgusting and painful sores appeared on all the people who had the mark of the beast and worshipped its image. The second one poured out his bowl into the sea, and it became like the blood of a dead person, and everything in the sea died. The third one poured. Wait, the third one poured out his bowl into the rivers and springs of water, and they turned to blood. Then I heard the angel of the waters say, "O Hakadosh, the one who is and was, you are just in these judgments of yours. They poured out the blood of your people and your prophets, so you have made them drink the blood. They deserve it." Mm. 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 Then I heard the altar say, Yes, Adonai, God of heaven's armies, your judgments are true and just. And the fourth one poured out his bowl on the sun, and it was permitted to burn people with fire. People were burned by the intense heat, yet they cursed the name of God who had the authority over these plagues, instead of turning from their sins to give him glory. <laughs> the fifth one poured mm. out his bowl on the throne of the beast, and its kingdoms grew dark. People gnawed on their tongues from the pain, yet they cursed God of heaven because their pains and sores, and they did not turn from their sinful deeds. The sixth one poured out his bowl on the great river Euphrates, and its waters dried up in order to prepare the way for the kings, for the kings from the east. And I saw three unclean spirits that looked like frogs. They came from the mouth of the dragon, from the mouth of the beast, and from the mouth of the false prophet. They are miracle working demonic spirits which go out to the kings of the whole inhabited world to assemble them for the war of the great day of Adonai. Say that for me. Zavaot. Zavaot. For the great day of Adonai Zavaot. Look, I am coming like a thief. How blessed are those who stay alert and keep their clothes clean so they won't be walking naked and to be and be publicly put to shame. And they gathered the kings to the place which is in Hebrew called Har Megiddo. The mm -hmm. seventh one poured out his bowl on on the air, and a loud voice came from came out of the temple from the throne, saying, "It is done." There were flashes of lightning, voices, and peals of thunder, and there was a massive earthquake, such has never occurred since mankind has been on earth. So violent was the earthquake. The great city was split into three parts, and the mm -hmm. cities and the nations fell. And God remembered Babylon the great. And the great made her drink the wine of the cup of his raging fury. Every island fled, and no mountains were to be found. And and huge seventy pound hailstones fell on the people from the sky. But the people cursed God for the plague of hail. That it was such a terrible plague. Hmm. Oh, still didn't learn. Still didn't learn. Oh, okay. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I just get this question out? All right. So, um, <laughs> these are reoccurring, or have these happened already? Well, no. Maybe I said that wrong. Are these the plagues of Egypt? Revelation. Yes. No. What's in Revelation? These are the prayer. These are the plagues that are going to happen in the last days. But but I'm, these are the plagues of Egypt. They, there, there, there are, the plagues of Egypt set the precedence for them. So yeah, yeah so it, yeah, that's the idea comes from. Because yeah. Most High says I did not change, so mm -hmm. he is just a is just a repeating of what happened in Egypt. You know what I'm saying? I'm, so that's what that is. And um, and because, these, because some honest, some he did say in Exodus will never happen again, and then there's some here like now it's an earthquake. Yeah, okay. we didn't have an earthquake. And well, we're and, and when, a, when an earthquake and, necessarily doesn't necessarily mean an earthquake literally because true, of Amos, yeah. because of Amos it says uh, this is wrong. This is the story of Amos before the earthquake, and we know that earthquake was representative of Babylon or never never Nebuchadnezzar coming in there and wiping it all out. Mm -hmm. So could it be an earthquake? Could be, but it could be either a literal earthquake or just a conqueror. Well, we I don't want to call the Most High conqueror like in that sense, but this is him invading the earth. And cleaning it, purging it out, and mm -hmm. manifesting Purge. his will on I mean, his government here. Mm -hmm. So it could be that as well. That's how I look at that. Okay. Um, I, a lot of people, a lot of people, when they come upon trying times, instead of praying and saying, you know, Father, please lend me your hand, your mercy, they say, God, why you do this? Why me? 
Why me? Why me? So, so is that is, is that what is meant in eighteen when it said in in sixteen, uh, verse eight on on page eighteen hundred when it says the fourth one poured out his bowl on the sun and it was permitted to burn people with fire and people were burned by the intense heat yet they cursed the name of God. Is that yeah. is that what these they plagues. mean by that? Yeah, these are the plagues on the wicked. Um. <laughs> Yeah, what B.A. says, they're plays on the wicked. I mean, the wicked are pretty much the leaders of Israel who corrupted the people. Um, they're 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 pretty much um, kings sitting on their thrones and kings over their cities and pretty much. Yeah, because um, there's making, a warning to them in one of the books, right, that says those who. to them the whole time. Those so, who, <laughs> who are put in a position to judge if they judge. Right, so I mean. Right. So these are these are the kings. These are the right. kings over Israel suffer. who were corrupt. These are the kings of like Babylon. Um any any time the father handed the people of Israel over to an enemy, right? The enemy was supposed to pretty much punish the children of Israel, but only punish us to a certain extent. So the father does get back the enemy or the kings of those people's land. So mountains represents peoples, trees represents peoples. Um, what is... these are the things that are actually coming to coming to be you know take taken out in, in the end days of the last day what is the symbolism here in cursing of his name cursing of his name right Good question. is that people rejecting him you know that's that's why i was saying I you know so. when people say when people say you know when they come upon hard times people tend to say oh god why me why are you doing this to me uh you know why is that cursing his name about. Well, your question about people rejecting him—if they already have the mark, then they are already rejecting no, no, him. No, no, I'm, I'm saying like, like, is cursing his name when you are you rejecting him by saying what's in the name? You know, yeah. What does name? What does name mean in Hebrew? Like your function you, or well, purpose? Yeah, yeah, you're talking, yeah, it's, it's Shem, so it means your character. And, and your reputation as a person right? and your authority exactly okay so Three, then verse 15. okay so then yeah then okay then yes. that's my question then it's yes, yes. verse 15 of what mm -hmm. uh revelation 16. it says uh behold i come as a thief mm -hmm. lest is he that that washes and keepeth his garments lest he walk naked that and right. may see his shame mm -hmm. so that's that's like you know in context of what you're saying it's just, you know they they they're going to see their, their, uh, they shame. They're going to see their, uh, 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 they've been walking around naked as we was talking about er earlier. They didn't have that, that zeal on them. Their faults exposed. Mm -hmm. They didn't really have a spirit of Torah to yeah. really walk in it and act in it. Exactly. And so when you don't have the spirit of Torah, you pretty much rejected the most high. You rejected how the most high worked and, and your actions was contrary to what the most high put in the Torah. It's like your child, so, if your child is, is just because it's your child, yeah, we see that physically, mm -hmm. but when that child's not acting according to the way you raise them, then that's, you're not acting like my child right now. <laughs> you see what I'm there saying? So now there needs to be some type of punishment. punishment. Uh, that's right. Discipline. <laughs> yes, sir. You have a best friend? I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Male or female? female you call her by her name or by a nickname or a pet name <laughs> Not a nickname well, no actually i call her by the name her mother gave her unless we're joking around or something or you know but i call i i choose to call her you know she, she's asked many times to call her by her nickname but i always call her by okay her. in this society in this western civilization which more, which one is generally more of a term and endearment? The name you were given or a nickname? The the nickname. In, in this society, it's the nickname. Okay. So that's bad sapless. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. You know what you're saying. Right. 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 I wasn't, I, I never, I was never really given my name until I was 12 years old. Ooh. And then when I was given my name at 12, I embraced it fully. And from that point on, the only time I really allow someone to call me a nickname is 
illiteracy just can't pronunciate right just don't get it and just choose to chew up my name but okay. i prefer to be called corinthian okay <laughs> See, he just can't get right. See? <laughs> but you already knew this. Right, right. I already, I know, I know he calling me Constantinopolis. So this is what I'm saying. This is not Colossians. This is what I'm saying. If, if I call you by your name, I'm indicating that I know you. That's right. That part. That you know. This relationship. Yeah. You know, we know Revelation 16. That according to how the that according based on how you would how how the most I knew you were to He knew you to be wicked and you got that consequence. Did so you know be right so right you question you got, we, got, we, got, we got that consequence. Get it. Uh, Turn to uh, Revelation eleven. Eleven. Uh-huh. Yes, please do. Exactly right. You're right. You're still not. Okay. Because that was in Revelation eleven. Yeah. 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 I call Exodus nine. I call him Doc. And it says we're gonna call him. And I don't think name. nobody else said call him. Say his name. Name. Yeah. And that's a it's, it's, it's a little inside. But we know it's not. But it's a term of endearment. Yo, the wife. Okay. So when you call him by his name, you call him Leon, <laughs> you're indicating that you know him. When you call him by name, you're indicating that you know him. So it's just like Pharaoh. Pharaoh knew him. Mm. Pharaoh admitted, I've seen. Pharaoh admitted, do what you do, but can I get a little blessing? Because <laughs> yeah, Pharaoh was a cold piece. So he's still trying to get his. Because <laughs> he knew who he was. Right? Yeah, see, yeah, Pharaoh knew who he was, and Pharaoh knew that he would be blessed by, by asking for the blessing. Well, it's, you in know, his you know, it's, it's a whole, it's worth a study to study Pharaoh. Yeah, it's like when we were talking about from the Egyptian oh, point yeah, of view. Pharaoh was God and king on earth. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why he was caught. Mm-hmm. You know, but the first Pharaoh is the one that really, yeah, that's because, what we really would learn from. Yeah, because, why they yeah. why they set him up as a deity and all yeah, that right. kind of stuff. Yeah. And that goes all the way back to the Nephilim and all the, that. That's that's a whole nother, yeah. whole nother yeah. thing. But the thing is, they knew him. So let's put it in perspective. If me and you are dogs, you know, we, we run it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And something happened. Five will pull up and I take mm-hmm. off. You know me and you know what I've done. You know, I rolled with him. I got his back. I had his back. That's why you rolling with me. Cause I had everybody back. I'm popping the Glock. I'm, I'm here. But when it comes to you, I'm running. How that make you feel toward me? But it depends on if I know you or not. Well, I, but I said you know me because if I know you, I'm gonna run too. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They they pull up and they and they and they get you. Uh huh. Well, oh, but he don't. Let's just say a robber Let's just say they got let's you. Just say, just say so what was the scripture we read? He said, he said, you know, Moses told talked to Pharaoh and he said he just turned his back on him. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you everybody just turned their back on you. <laughs> yeah, he had. Yeah, we talk about it all the time. Mm-hmm. But you get you get where I'm coming in with mm-hmm. this. Mm-hmm. You get where I'm coming. Mm-hmm. Because I, I'm supposed to have your back. Okay, mm-hmm. so why did I run? Because because you didn't stick to the script. Mm-hmm. They had an episode on that with uh, Power. I know all y'all watch Power. No, uh, I don't watch TV at all. Okay, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> I watch Power. Yeah. I watch Power too. I, 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 okay. I, I don't miss, but I watch it twice. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure I didn't miss nothing. When, when I do watch it, I'm powered up. <laughs> you don't watch TV. That's, that's that's wonderful. But if you do, I select, do, but I don't. Select the TV. Yes. Yeah. Select the TV. Uh, yeah. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is, is like, if you don't stick to the script, and then you expect to still get blessed, mm. it's not going to happen. Mm-hmm. Right. Why Tommy always in trouble? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. If you, if, if uh, like your, if your boy got caught, and and you know the, you know the boy done, done got it, they gonna ask him who was your running mate, hmm. and who and, and who is he that? So if he refers to you as your full name, 
Mm -hmm. That means he knew you. And he just gave you your whole identity. Of right. Instead of giving him, giving the, the, the police officer your slang name. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. Because he don't, I can't find him by that. That's a good point. But then he can give you up by the full name, you know. Mm. So, so an mm -hmm. excellent point. I know you got something to say, but yeah. so when we, I asked her to repeat that. And I think it, when we read it in, in, uh, in the process. Yeah. Yeah. We said those who I'm about were to go to right now. Uh -huh. um, mm -hmm. And who were those who were his? These were, these were his Gentiles. Own, no, no, no. Um, these were his Gentiles. own people. Israel. Right. Yeah, that, that thought they were Gentiles, but I'm just saying the way it read in the book, I was like, oh. Oh, it made it. It made a distinction. So when it, when it says yes. God fearers, um, or or um, when it says God fearers or proselytes, those are the Gentiles. The when it says unbelieving Jews, those are actually the Israelites who were of the same blood as as Messiah. So pretty much, you know, your relatives they they know you, right? They Man. have built a relationship with you. They close with you. They build a bond with you. They know favorite movies, ice creams, colors everything they know your first middle and last name that's what dre was saying right mm -hmm. right name. so you 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 built a, a close bond a tight-knit bond with these people right so that means to know somebody's name that means to know somebody's reputation you know their character or personality you know their authority mm -hmm. you know they they first middle and last right, right. so you probably know their mama name and daddy name right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So and they probably know you and your, you know, I I'm, I come from that type of generation. Eric, I can't do nothing in Sacramento. Um, <laughs> but yeah, <right? laughs> but going back to but, but yeah, his first, when it's... you when you when you know somebody, you know better. And so these people, these Israelites who were Jews, they knew better because they were of the same seed of Abraham. Like they said, they knew the Most High. They was the Torah teachers. Right. They weren't supposed to act contrary to what they had known they right. weren't supposed to act contrary to the relationship or the tight bond that they built right is right. that what you're saying yeah. and, paul, and, and paul, brother dress and saying. paul paul addressed it all through that's all through yeah. romans mm -hmm. you know and so that's the thing so you get a windfall mm -hmm. and now you living in granite bay Ooh. you see that in my house yeah <laughs> you live yeah. in granite bay <laughs> and now they want to come out and play man and he's like no nah. <laughs> like no nah. So now what are they gonna do to you? Mm -hmm. They're gonna slam to you, mm -hmm. curse you. Yeah. They're gonna, you know, yep. you know, they're gonna try to make you remember when we played on the playground together. We yeah. wasn't but a little snotty and old kooky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, and all yeah. that. Oh, they're gonna bring up everything. That's right. Oh, like, like there's somebody but like, there's people right. who don't know you who's gonna do that anyway. But we talk but the point here is we talking about the people talking that about the ones who know, know him. We talking here to these you. people knew him. Right. And that's why I'm about to read okay, is what you were. I'm gonna go back a little bit. Um and I'm starting at verse we'll forty six. We'll I'm on page fifteen eighty. Are you reading the act? At the Acts, Acts one, he's, okay. yeah, I'm yeah. going back to Acts 13, verse, I'm going to start at verse 46. Mm -hmm. And it says, however, Shaul and Barnaba answered boldly, it was necessary that God's word be spoken first to you, mm -hmm. to you. That's the family, the relative. To, to us. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. But since you are rejecting it. Since you are what? Rejecting it. <laughs> This is those who aren't listening. Uh -huh. We didn't told you how many times. Who's and he didn't say, right? You're cutting it. Right. Those people we know like that he knows. Your you're rejecting it <laughs> and are judging yourselves unworthy of eternal life. Oh, you you ain't up the standard. You ain't up to par. Uh -huh. You went to Granite Bay, but you don't feel like you need to belong there. Uh -huh. Um, why um we are returning to the Gentiles. Uh -huh. Because now y'all don't want to listen. We got to tell somebody. Come on. For that is what Adonai has ordered us to do. So that that's that's a key right there. He yes. ordered us to he, do it. He said do it. He that said is. it. Okay. I, I have set you as a light for the nation. Hallelujah. To be for deliverance to the ends of the earth. Yeah. The Gentiles were very happy to hear this. Of course they were. They they didn't got told some good news. Mm. Right. Heard the good news. Yes. The they honored news. the message about the Lord 
And as many as had been appointed to eternal life wait, came wait, to wait, trust. They had been appointed. That's what I got. As many triple underlined. Had, had been appointed to eternal life. Been appointed. Wait a minute. Appointed. Appointed. Not anointed. Appointed. Appointed. Because appointed becomes appointed. anointed. Hmm. But Joe Brown. Right? <laughs> and it was already determined. <laughs> All mm -hmm. that part. It was already yes. determined. already determined. Foreseen, foresaw, already foretold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which tears apart mm -hmm. some other arguments. You let them but come you know to Granite Bay to play in your pool. Ah. Mm -hmm. This is funny. If they, if you got the O O L up there, mm -hmm. well, I mean, <laughs> y'all know where I'm going. <laughs> they mess up your pool. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, what do you expect? Man. What, what did you expect? Mm -hmm. When you mm -hmm. knew, we just read last week, said, what does light have to do with dark? Huh. What if they don't pay you? You know what? <laughs> yeah, let's take it there. <laughs> but just that piece what, what you what just Israel said. When you, when See, you went to so there, there, people, there it is. There are people that know That's you. There because you know, know them. There are people that know you. Know, them. With Israel. Mm -hmm. you and there are people who know of. Exactly, but they but see they ain't appointed. See? Yeah. Actually, and this is you how know you what? learn this mm -hmm. is how you learn the mercy mm -hmm. of the father. This is where you really on the start to understand the mercy of so we just look at mercy for ourselves. And again, Yeshua said you if you if you if you want to obtain mercy, you have to have mercy. Mm -hmm. This is Torah, this is Israel, benevolence pouring out of your spirit to somebody despite what they do that comes a point that you should sure taught it it comes a point then you got to pull your dag out you know, Man. you know that you got stuck down in there you know and so that's that's this is this is this is what pushes us to the next level as we were called it but this is what engulfs us into torah hallelujah hospitality benevolence those type things that's his character that's the essence of his love. Who did you feed me? Some people just can't handle that. Man, you're not you know, created that. We we bring like we we bring food, right? Well, yeah. I'm telling you, and, 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 and nobody's right? like guard. Nobody's like guarding the food. <laughs> like I'm gonna make sure you don't eat all my pressure. I need to take some back. <laughs> I counted the mangoes just so y'all know. <laughs> so I like, measured the juice, look. We know what Doc gonna bring. Yeah. And everybody else can bring whatever we know Doc gonna bring some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he do. We know it. I know him, so you get to know him. Yeah. If we have a pay socks he's gonna bring some potato chips or, or, or some chicken. That's what he does. See, because I know him like that. That's right. And so that's some sense. So I don't come expect Doc to come up with a, a, a big old ribeye, you know, because that ain't that's not him. And he was and he was a cook. He never cooked us. I asked him, I said, got it. Are you going to cook us? Are you going to cook us? I'm, I was gonna go down there and talk to him yeah. about how what did he actually cook or did he just <laughs> <laughs> he supervise? <laughs> he supervisor. He, he was the executive. He made the menu. And he, got promoted, he got promoted to that position. It, 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 exactly. You know, he got pots sitting on his stove right now. Cause he told me he, cook, he cooks so much, that's why he won't cook no He meal prep, huh? He only cooked one day off the When I was married, I, I stopped cooking. Because <laughs> when I was cooking, when I was getting all the ooh, ah, ah, that the pollen and stuff, so <laughs> why didn't like it? So they took over. Hospitality, benevolence, and rest. You said hospitality, Can I say something too, Corinthians? Yes. If I could, just real sure. quick. Um, okay, that's mercy. enough. Mercy. 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nah, I'm sorry. I'd like to say something on this thing, too. See, yeah. See, back in those days, everybody knew who y'all were. Everybody. <laughs> right. Everybody knew who y'all were. And today, everybody knows who the eternal father is, however you yep. want to put it. You know, like the thing says, they refuse to repent, to recognize it. 
I'm sorry. That was the point I was kind of making when I was saying what I said was that they already received the mark. So like they had already made their choice. So the fact that they cursed God's name wasn't like that was condemning them. They'd already been condemned. They like right. literally yeah. had already made their choice. Yeah, no, but, see, but they also state that they wouldn't. They wouldn't repent. They would. They would. They would repent. They but wouldn't recognize. They would. They curse him. But yeah. because it's kind of like going back to Pharaoh. Like they had already made their hearts hard, so he made their hearts harder. Like, oh, this is what you want? Okay, well, I'm gonna make it harder, and you're not gonna repent. I'm gonna keep doing these right. things, and you're no. not gonna repent because I've hardened your heart harder than you already made it. Like, so even if you want to go back, you're not gonna go back. Right, right. And because, like I said, that was a, that was a display of how he actually worked. Mm -hmm. But like you said, see, see, I met. I was talking to a Satanist one time, and he told me, he said, "I'm gonna get the best of both worlds." He said, I'm going to get everything in, in this in this world from my father, Satan. And I'm going to get everything in the next world from my <laughs> father, father, God. Okay. And I was like, how? He said, because at the last minute, <laughs> when I get ready to die, he said, I'm, I'm going to repent. <laughs> it don't work. And, he to, and he has to forgive me. And now I get the best of both worlds. It don't work like that. So I'm smarter than you. See, that's that's that's, that's what, how they because once your heart is hard, you see, so this is what I'm talking. You, you so made he stubborn. know he know he know the way to salvation. Mm -hmm. He know where the blessing lies. He know all. He know yeah, all. But that. that's that's but that's the lie that you. But tell. he don't realize that. But that's that's he, the point, right? That's the blinder. But, but, but it says right. it says that that he who sins and know they sin. Is judged harsher than he who didn't know he was Chris, sending in the first place, right? Well, yeah, that is true. See, but the point but, is, that, and what's the scripture is that? But the point, this is a Satanist. Did you ever belong to a church? Did you? I, I have belonged belong to a church before. But don't you? But I mean, that's part of just like the church culture. That's the layout. And that's just the doctrine. That's just like basic. And and I'm being honest, yep. even though the question was a little facetious, because I just had this conversation as I was reading the parish over this week with someone, because I just asked them a question. You know about death do you you know what you feeling like when you die what's that look like for you because we've been conditioned to believe inside of the church that hey you can do whatever you want to just at the last minute as long as oh <gasps> forgive me <gasps> and i'm good yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and that's what you've been conditioned it's to believe to but see, even in, <laughs> you know even even for me myself even i i Churches never conditioned me to anything because I never fully took anything. I never felt that there was always something missing in churches and things hey. like that when I would attend that it was always something stirring up in me that either was a question that didn't sit right or just something that just didn't make sense in the way that they were trying to impress upon me what they were trying to work on me and it just was not working <laughs> in me. Did y'all get that? Yeah, I got yeah, it. I got you. It was a mouthful, but like he was doing like this. Like you know, you're saying it, and you know you're saying it, and you won't stop. But that that Satan, that Satanist don't realize that he gonna get to a point where right. he can't turn back. But we talking about the expectation, right? That's the whole point, exactly. Right. The expectation, exactly. So now, just like I went through that scenario about being called up, because your expectation is that I got your back. See, so what do you say? Deaf ears, they can't well, hear the truth. Mm -hmm. I know you, but I can't hear what you, what you, what you're saying. I hear what I want to hear. Mm -hmm. I don't hear the whole truth and nothing but the truth. Mm -hmm. So, like for me, since coming into Torah, I think I was telling Ashanti this the other day. There's things that I knew, but it wasn't until I got into here that I'm like, now I really know it. Mm -hmm. You know, like I knew it, yeah. And they, eh. and like sometimes I talk to people and they're like, oh yeah, I know that. But then I'm thinking, like, but do you really know it? Because if you really knew it, right. you wouldn't be doing X, Y, and Z. Yeah. yeah. Right. So do you, you don't you know of it, but mm. you don't really know it. Mm. Right. So it's yeah. kind of like the same thing. Yeah. Right. Exactly. But she's saying BA. No, 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 no. I gotta go ahead. Now, now, I was reading. I'm going to say this, and then I'm gonna go get some nuts for y'all. Even more. Ah. It takes about three cycles. A Torah. Yep. Before it start to really start to press mm -hmm. up, and you yep. pick up bits and pieces here and did this, and you're like, "Ooh, I second, it. It I takes, it takes about three." Sometimes it take ten because it told huh? me it took ten. No, well, the well, I'm saying to start, start get, you know, to even get a beginning right. foundation. Because he said, because he said that, that he said that Adonai hardened his heart. Yeah. Right. 
not that he just came in hard hearted. Because, mm-hmm. like you said, he knew Adam out. He knew him who he was, and so, but just like the like Paul was talking about. But didn't Pharaoh didn't say that Pharaoh heart in his heart? Yeah. And I then after no, had he no, hearted her, and then had the an eye hearted her. The yeah. most high was heart in his heart. I mean, I'm, I'm, no. getting, I'm getting confused at the part you said because Pharaoh knew him. I'm like, well, Pharaoh knew who was Pharaoh knew he was sinning again. He knew he knew he understood right. I, at least my impression was, uh, even when Moses kept coming saying, "I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna put this plague on," you know, and you know, according to Adam, you know, so he was. He was challenging Adam. Yeah, because we you gotta remember it's the you gotta remember too it's the, it's the culture of Egypt. So here here's this guy out of nowhere who this guy who come out the wilderness out the desert and he gonna walk in this empire and he gonna tell them what to do and they're like get up out of here man. Then, then a few plagues come along. So that's knowing. So that's knowing of because there's exactly, types of yeah. knowing. So there's, yeah. there's, so there's easy, a yeah. knowing of. Exactly. Like so, I know of you, but I don't, I don't know, you. know you like that yeah, to yeah. really be yeah. respected. Yeah. Right. Exactly. So exactly because that, okay, Egypt had their that, own <laughs> tradition. <laughs> yeah, that's what okay. I'm saying. They I had their own tradition, their own culture. They had their own guys too. Well, hold on, our guys are just as powerful as yours. Mm-hmm. So that's why if you notice in the first few plagues, the Most High. I mean, the first few little, little miracles and signs, the Most High had allowed. The, the snakes under the staff and the no, snakes. No, no. Oh yeah, One blood. They allowed him into the blood. They allowed him in. So that was that was that Exodus was the process of hardening Pharaoh's heart. Right. Well, hold on. That's why when Pharaoh said that's a cheap magician's trick or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Our guys do the same thing. But eventually, it got to a point to where them plagues. I mean, the, the, um, the, I guess the magicians and the men of Egypt, they were not able to compete against this guy. So it because it, it, it this so this is what it was. That's why it came to that one part when the Most High said, "Look." Now this last plague about the death, the death of these kids, the firstborn, he gonna be done after this. You know what I'm saying? Because you can only take a person so far. Oh, yeah. Even even Pharaoh. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. Yeah. FYI, while y'all trying to whisper, that mic picks up everything. Thank you. No, Don't you tell can go back. Secrets. No, you can go it, back and listen to because you can go back and listen to last week's thing. That mic, it picks up everything. <laughs> Yeah, we were just. It, it was. Sorry, I, I'm just. FYI. I, 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 I always. I was, yes. If you don't want to preserve for it eternity, was, no, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't, it it wasn't a preservation. It wasn't I'm a preservation. It no, and it, I, and I understand that. I was trying to get the scripture that he quoted and see if he knew where he got it from, so that it could be marked oh, for later. Okay. I mean, not, hey, I don't. I don't mind what you're doing. I'm just so saying. What? You can go back and listen to the video. <laughs> it picks up whispers. <laughs> oh, so we in court now. <laughs> so, um, what, <laughs> so what were you going to say, Sean? About, I want to say that. Yeah, I'm talking about before y'all you just, got y'all just walked over what I was saying. So, oh, so who, now go oh. ahead, man. I'm, I'm mad now. So you mean, <laughs> go ahead and get all your. You only on number two. We didn't mean to skip your. Uh, <laughs> no, I, was gonna, I, wanted to, I was gonna add something to the uh, when you were saying about your ten times to um when you when you said uh. The, like you know, sinners just uh, are at the end. They turn. Uh, what they, what were we saying about the Satanists or whatever? He said he's gonna get his in this life, and then you know he gonna call on the name of God or whatever in the end, and then get that you know receive eternal life or whatever. Yeah, it. I look at it as a uh, you know like bad habits. Like mm. uh, that's what hardening your heart is going to do to you. You're gonna keep. The more you keep denying the information, the more oh, bad. the worse, bad habits worse. you keep working it. You keep mm-hmm. working them. You keep working them. And and I noticed that with like well not bad habits, Addiction. but I worked for the mm-hmm. postal service mm-hmm. for the last eleven years, and now I'm trying to get out of that, and I'm trying to go to landscaping and stuff like that. Half of the stuff I didn't even know how to work with because I never touched it. Mm-hmm. I've never touched it. I thought it'd be easy, mm-hmm. but I never touched it. So now that I'm I'm getting into that, it's a whole different ball game. It's like it's you know it's mind blowing to me yeah. on how much you you look at something you think it's easy, mm-hmm. but when you actually working with it, mm-hmm. you you know it's 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 a whole different ball game. You need to learn. You can't just turn at the last second or whatever. You know you already done built up these habits. So now that you think you gotta uh, you gotta undo that unlearn, pretty much. You yeah. gotta unlearn all that. Yeah. You, your mind's been captivated in that for so it's long that it's so hard to 
get out of it. I have a question. That's and maybe it work and maybe I need to be reminded of where this is at in this text. If a person like that, the Satanist says, but most high has to forgive me uh in, in that in that last day when I have the 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 chance to be forgiven, does the most high automatically forgive even if you don't have an unrepentant heart? No, because no, he's no. saying that Satanist is saying. Oh, he just go the most high just gonna have to forgive me. And I'm like, where are you getting that from? Because Isn't that in Revelations? Well, he knew no. he knew no. the Satan no. knew him. But like Yeshua told me, say you err with the scriptures. Yeah. Hmm. See. Please so, remind so, me so of that script that so, can go along with what I'm saying, though. Like you you when you talking about forgiveness, when the most high forgives you, he has to forgive an unrepentant person or spirit that's what no, the corinthians believe right yeah, when yeah. they argued about grace they said well, mm -hmm. since i have grace i can do anything i want to do right you see, okay. people mess up grace too. which, which yeah. was the okay. same thing okay. they okay. did okay. Okay. they you. said since yeah. i have the bloodline i can okay. do anything right pretty gotcha. much i want to gotcha. yes, okay. exactly. Thank so, you. So, so that's what that's what we're saying so now what's the name of the parish y'all go go so that's that's the context of everything and he 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 sent him to go to Pharaoh, mm -hmm. right? So we know this is a showdown. Mm -hmm. Like you talk about the repetitive theme, this this is a showdown. Yeah, straight up. This is a showdown. He said he said I, I've hardened his heart. Like you said, Pharaoh hardened his heart first because Pharaoh said, "Well, we're gonna see if my God bigger than your God, or me, if he was you know acting as God." So this is a showdown, and then. Adam, I said, I'm going to do this so that all my glory will be will manifest forth. And then they will know that I'm him, that's that I'm right. the most high. Mm -hmm. So this this is a showdown here. That's, that's what's going right. on. And that's where I was going because I was saying, not like he knew him. In other words, I didn't just hear about this God through Moses. Right. We already heard about all this. And so we're already familiar with magic. Like I said, we know right. already stole it. So the same magic. Coming from the same place we stole it from, <laughs> we are we're already familiar with this, mm -hmm. but we're not familiar with the totality of who he is. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's what I'm challenging. And so you you know you're gonna have to show me. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm not gonna just believe you because you told me. Yeah, or the hearsay I hear from all right. my. And so now I'm gonna have to hard harden yeah. the same thing Paul went into talking about sin. Mm -hmm. You know the purpose of sin and the whole reason. The sin is to show you how sinful you are. Mm. So the sin is going to cause you to sin more. That's the curse of Torah. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. And so that's where I was trying to go with it. So, yeah, so this, even though we say we know sin or I've sinned, but I don't really know all my sins because right. they haven't been shown to me. Mm. So I'm going to have to show you and show you and show you. So that's what grace comes in. Until you come to the that's place, he says, now you're going to call me by my name. Right. Yeah. <laughs> we'll or die. Right. Because exactly, because you come into the totality, of it. and so we talking about. He said, "I'm showing you stuff I didn't show Abraham." Yeah, you know, I showed the prophet stuff I didn't right. show you. Now I'm showing y'all. Right. Not not me, y'all. Well, like I said, in the beginning, <laughs> the beginning of these tours, he told Moses because Yeshua came. Yeah, now you, I, I, you got I only everything. I only identified myself to uh, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob as El Shaddai. I didn't right. I didn't tell them. I didn't show him me as Jehovah. Right. And that's what I said. And so, I'm showing you. So then he showed the next one even more when they got in the land right. of the milk mm -hmm. and honey. And then he showed the prophets even mm -hmm. more. The prophets, mm -hmm. even the judges, right. even, but the prophets, mm -hmm. even that's the manifest judgment. Right. Mm -hmm. So then now here's Yeshua. So this generation that has Yeshua, come on, it's like, okay, you ain't got no more excuse after that. Well, he's all right, I'm gonna give you a little bit. I'll give you, uh, give like, you a like I said, but, but, but they rejected leave, the prophets and the Ruach come. Now you got you got no you got no game. Ooh. Plus, he said, don't mess with the ruach. He said it himself. And paraphrase. He said, Don't 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 mess with the ruach. Mess with me, but don't mess with the ruach. Mess yeah. with me. I always put it like that. Mess ruach, with me, but don't mess with my woman. Yeah. Yeah. That's the power. <laughs> Because huh? the Ruach is the power. Yeah. My mama. Okay, yeah. I said, what do you want to say about me? <laughs> you better not say about my mama. <laughs> <laughs> Them fighting words. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right now. Unless your mama's a thug. <laughs> 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 and then she got this out. Right, right, right. 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 But I can talk right. about it, but you can't. That, that's right. Even if she Ooh, a thug. Man. That's right. This is funny. And, so, and so, like I said, that, that, that Yeshua and the Ruach has never been separated mm. except for one time. And that was that. At the stake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, because uh, Christ. Me. Yeah, exactly. He said, Yeah, that's right. And he, and he also said, No man, take my life, I give my life. Come on. Mm -hmm. So as long as that spirit was upon mm -hmm. him, you were not gonna get near him. And he and he he had to be willing to give himself. Exactly. That's just that's that's the same thing yeah. with, with uh with you know repenting from sins Hallelujah. or whatever in the last day. Yep. You, you, you're not gonna be ready to give your life. Come on, Dre. You're not gonna be ready to give it up. No, nah, exactly. So you're gonna do whatever it takes to know knowing that you gotta go. Oh it's exactly. getting real quick. Yeah. You're, 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 you're not gonna be ready for that. Exactly. So that, yeah. well, that was a that was a rejection you all were talking about. Yeah, yeah straight up. I'm rejecting you just just like they did in, in Egypt. Cause because you're trying to kill me. Mm -hmm. Hey, what Jeremiah say? What you say? <laughs> Yahweh tries the reins of the uh, heart, the heart. Exactly. that's what a heart amen <laughs> and then on the flip side of that what did he say man he said i'm showing you mercy and you don't even know it mm. you in and you don't even know it you know you fed the poor when, when i feed the poor lord exactly you know you clothe the when, when i do that i i, I got note of it mm. that's why i said last week just be israel Hallelujah. Just do it. don't 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 get caught up in all. Just here, like I said, benevolence. What's the other word? Mercy. And what's the other word? Hospitality. Okay. Hospitality. I would still like to tell Corinthians something um, <laughs> as an encouragement. I appreciate you coming um, Come here. O over a month now, mm -hmm. Corinthians. Um, you, I believe you were in a place that I was um, when I started my journey. And I had a lot of questions because what I was taught in the church in, you know, at that time, 32 years, and it, it, it wasn't lining up with what I read in the Bible from Genesis to Revelation starting in 2011. I started to read the Bible for the first time from Genesis to Revelation in the year 2011. And a lot of the questions I had came from my upbringing in church and my upbringing around church folk they'll yeah, tell you all sorts of hallelujah. stuff Thank you. you'll see how they act you'll hear the woe is me and what happens is we know church and what i mean by that is we know how to get up on sunday morning and go and and do the watushi and do the emotional charging hallelujah. and yes. then she get said out it. She and said then it. go about our business she said it we don't know nothing else. I'm that's saying a, this from experience. That's a different script. What you yeah. will see is church people saying, why God do this? They know of, but they don't know. No. And going to church gets you to know of. Yep. It don't get you to know. Yep. So I encourage you, so true. stay on this course, stay in the path, stay in this word. Stay kicking it with us. Hallelujah. Because we have came to a lot of the answers to your questions. We've had those same questions. Each one of us. <laughs> Jeremiah 23. <laughs> so, yeah. You, 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 hey, these are very good questions. Keep them coming. Six. You know what I mean? Jeremiah, Jeremiah 23. Yeah, yeah you go on there. Hey. Yes, <laughs> 23 what? You go forget the verse. What page is it? 23. 23. Six, three, six 23. by three. 23. 23 starts. And we're going where? Verse 23. What chapter? I'm sorry. 23. Chapter 23. On page 655. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, she ain't in that book. Where are you starting from? I'm going to start at 23. Oh, okay, okay, so you're gonna, he's going to start at verse 23. Let me read for the King James. But I mean, that's if you guys will follow along. 23 verse what? 20, 23 verse 23. Okay, 23, 23. Now I'm God at hand, saith the Lord, and not a God afar off. Can any can any hide himself in secret places that I should not see him? Save the Lord. Do not I feel heaven and earth, save the Lord. I have heard what the prophets say that prophesies lies in my name, saying I have dreamed, I have dreamed. 
How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesize lies? That's the question. Mm. Yea, they are prophets of deceit of their own mm. hearts, which think to cause my people to forget my name. Come on. Hold on. Mm. My name. Remember that. By their dreams, which they tell every man to his neighbor, as their fathers have forgotten my name for Baal. What, so what did he say? They forgot, they forgot his name. They don't know. You forgot how he acts. You forgot his character. You forgot his personality. His what? His function. Function. What? What he brings to the table. So you oh, yeah, Jesus, Jesus, mind. God, God, Jehovah, Yahweh. Yeah, but hold on. You got him mixed up with Baal. The mm -hmm. character. Right. They come. They say that because look, like in what is that? Mark. Somewhere in Mark, even throughout the Gospels, the devils they know the name too. Yeah, that's, that's right. right. They that's gonna the, that's yeah. in the book of James. You know what yep. I'm saying? Uh -huh. They're they, they gonna come and say, like, what that dude was possessed by demons, legion. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Have you come Jesus, to judge him? Man. But at the same time, what, what's but what, what, what's the function of evil spirit? Yeah. Yeah. To go against. To go against. Okay. To oppose. Exactly. So, right here, these prophets we just read in Jeremiah 23, they they are willingly, like, uh, since we're just talking about those of Sunday church and the, those who keep the Sabbath too, we got them all over. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm you're saying? Right about that. Uh, we always all amongst them. But the thing is, is that, yeah, Yahweh this, the Most High this, Yeshua this, but where your heart is. That's right. right. Where's your heart at? So and that's what he says. You have gotten, you forgot my name for Baal. That means you say this, but the way you're acting Come on. is as if you're serving another God. Come on. Because that ain't me. That's I'm nowhere right. near it. Yeah, yeah, you pronounce the name right. Come on. You say the Hebrew rendering right, but no, nah, that, ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. That's right. That's not me. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm just just to just to land back off of sister's hand. That's so why, I just that's why he always to repeats yeah. himself too. Whenever he tells you to keep his commandments, before that he always say, "I want you to walk in my ways." Yeah, he always say that. Yes, yeah. and keep my commandments. Like keep my commandments. Yeah. The, the Hebrew word for way is direct. Mm -hmm. It mean it means to the walk. It means the direction to go a certain direction. When you mimic somebody, exactly. right? To act to exactly. do. So, and that's what Christ, he goes back, he says, I am the way, the mm -hmm. truth, and the light. Mm -hmm. Do what I do. Right. What, did, what did Paul say? Yeah. Imitate Christ. You know what I'm saying? Do, look, do what I'm doing because I'm doing what Christ did. Yeah, do right. what, do that. Christ said that for those, is what, what does it say, Deuteronomy 18? That prophet, you are to hear his words, uh -huh. and you are to do them. Christ said in Matthew chapter 8. His name is what? Exactly. He says, the Father's name, name is in him. In him. And Matthew hmm. chapter 8, Christ also said, my words, you are to do them. Yeah. Do them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's not about how much you know. It's not about how many Hebrew words and Greek words you can pronounce. How many services. Is that or, certain, or how many scriptures you can memorize. That's right. It's all about what are you doing, the movements. Right. Because the spirit manifests through action. The heart. The heart. Mm -hmm. man. Out of the abundance of the heart. Yeah, the man tells the truth. Do, yeah, right. Tell, he tells so, the truth about himself. So I just wanted to answer that for you and just give you some encouragement to stay to, to, to stay the course. And a lot of your questions definitely will, will be answered. And and, and it, I know it seems like I condemn the people, but you gotta pray for the people because I was once there too. So pray for the people. Some people have chosen to stay in there knowing they ain't supposed to be there. Mm -hmm. Pray for them too. Mm -hmm. And, and pray for the ones who are being deceived because they don't know no better. Just pray for those because they, they think they've been told the right thing and they might not be. I know so you, just, just pray yeah. pray for them both ways. Mm -hmm. I, I know I know we all know this. Jeremiah was specifically told to do he was specifically not to pray for some. The most high said don't pray for none of them. Now you know what? Thank you for saying that, VA. Yeah. The most high said because they, they got to a point to where Israel yeah. was so oh, wicked. You gotta have the, mo the most high said yeah. don't pray even for pray for them because yeah. they've gone to them way too many times and they hard headed and they don't want to listen. He said, "Don't even, don't even petition me to do anything." That's a good uh, point right there too. Chris. And Isaiah, what well, was that? <laughs> Isaiah, go to Isaiah chapter one. I was we was built on this early. He ain't woke up, boy. Come on, me. <laughs> Isaiah chapter one. Yeah, Bring it. Bring it. I'm sorry. Isaiah. Which one you said, uh, Isaiah? Uh, Isaiah chapter one. What page is that? <laughs> Isaiah chapter one. This is page. And this, and this is why Four this is another eight, reason why a lot of my kin folks they can't stand my bitch. Uh, uh, Isaiah chapter, chapter one. Yeah. And we're going to pick Four, it up eight. at verse. Uh, let's see. Isaiah. Verse eleven. Verse eleven. Okay. So, so page, page four eighty four. Yes. Verse eleven. You know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go up to verse ten. No, Still verse on nine. Four eighty four. Yeah, verse nine. Except the Lord of hosts had left unto us a very small remnant, 
we should have been as Sodom and we should have been like unto Gomorrah. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. He's talking about Israel, but Israel and got so wicked. Yep. I'm going to call he you compared, Sodom and Gomorrah. He, he, compared, you he to, compared them to them. Dang. Let's go down to verse 11. To what purpose is, is the multitude of your sacrifices unto me? Save the Lord. I am full of burnt offerings of rams and the fat of old fed beasts, and I delight not in the blood of bullocks or of the lambs or the he goats. When ye come to appear before me, who have acquired this at you your hand to trend my courts? Bring no more vain oblations. Incense is an abomination unto me. The new moons and Sabbaths, the callings of assemblies, I cannot away with. It is iniquity, even a soul of me. Your new moons and your appointed feasts, my soul hateth. They are a trouble unto me. I am weary to bear them. And when ye spread forth your hands, I will make I will hide my eyes eyes from you. Ye when ye make many prayers, I will not hear. He said, I will not hear. So when you do wicked as hell, and guess what? I'm not even gonna hear it. It's gonna keep going. Uh verse 16. Wash you make yourselves clean, put away the evil of your doings from before my eyes cease. To do evil why why because he's telling you're doing evil so i'm not going to do nothing for you all you got to do is just change your ways repent come back to me verse 17 learn to do well seek judgment relieve the oppressed just the fatherless plead for the widow come now and let us reason together saith the lord though your sins be as scarlet they will be white as snow though they be red like crimson they shall be as wool let's see if ye be willing and obedient ye shall eat the good of the land. Mm -hmm. So if you just be obedient, Go stop ahead. willingly rejecting me and just do right and I'll take care of you. That's you ain't right. got to worry about these plagues coming upon you. That's right. I think it's, a, go to Amos chapter 5 and I'll be done. I'll be Boom. Done. Amos, Amos chapter 5. I want to finish out what you read. Go ahead. Go, uh, yeah, go. So finish it you, If you are willing and obedient, you will eat the good of the land. But mm -hmm. if you refuse and rebel, you will be eaten by the sword for the mouth of Adam I has spoken. Before he goes to Amos 5, this is why I say fact check everybody who's coming in front of you telling you, oh, the Most High says this and the Most High says that. Yep. Just like we were talking about uh, the person who was saying, okay, if you take a gun out of your house, you don't believe or have faith in the Messiah. Okay, this is why I say fact check everybody. The person in front of you, they may have good intentions. They may sound good. They may be a good, be a good decent citizen in the land or whatever. You still got to go back to the Most High's word and fact check them. Well, what you they what they have is a testimony, and they're preaching from a testimony because they had an experience. So now that because of my experience, this is what the mo this is what he's saying. Mm. So and they no, that's what just that's that what bit. you're saying because you're left with a some remnant of a feeling and emotions feeling. and all this other. Yeah, now you're you're gonna, you're gonna interpret the Bible based on uh, you know I, you know you shouldn't have a gun because. My son had a gun and shot somebody. And if you didn't have a gun, and if you had just followed this word and trusted in the Messiah, you never would have, you know. And it's like, well, that's not what the word is saying. It's right. But like you she said, that. fact checking, you got to take the whole the whole context of it. Where, because when when he's reading and then he didn't finish when she read, because I, I finished it too, they take just that little bit. Whereas just like verse 18, it says, come now, says Adonai, let's talk this over together. Even if your sins are like scarlet, they will be white as snow. Even if they are red as crimson, they will be like wool. So it's like, okay, this is this is that one scripture where the, the person can say, oh, because I did all this throughout my whole life. As soon as I die, I can say I repent and I'm, I'm forgiving, but no, there's work in forgiveness. There's work in the repentance. True. But see, they they do have a point. They do. Mm. She looked at me like, if they like, repent, the though. Like, no, no, I'm, 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 I didn't say <laughs> that. I'm point. waiting for you to okay, time, expound okay, on your so point. He left, for, he left for remnant. So how did he determine what remnant to leave or who to leave? How does he say? All y'all monked up, so I'm gonna take, but I'm gonna take you, you, and you, and I'm gonna take, and then the rest of y'all, you know, because he, he knows, knows who's gonna repent. He knows their heart, huh? He knows their heart. He knows their heart. He knows who's gonna repent. Anybody else? Like we may not know, but he knows. Yeah, he knows. Again, he know who you are from the beginning. Mm -hmm. We 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 can't. Your steps are ordered. You can't get past that. 
that brother the other day was making an excellent point. Some people are going to inherit the promise. Mm -hmm. Some yeah. people are going to get blessings. Mm -hmm. Some people are perfectly fine with blessings. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yep. Well, something like you said, we told Paul, Paul and Barnabas, I'm saving you for deliver to deliver mm -hmm. the people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So that that is the blessing, or that is what I'm probably well, you know, or like you know, like he told the Levites, what you're gonna get out of the spoils is me. And, and that's, exactly. and that's yeah. what, they're gonna get the gold the, and the jewelry, but you're gonna get me. The land, the because the, the Levites became his servants. Mm -hmm. The Levites became his firstborn. Firstborn. Mm -hmm. Priest. So we just priest. we just read right here. Yeah. He said Israel is firstborn. They right here he said take the firstborn. Mm -hmm. That's they they are mine. Mm -hmm. And then he changed that to the Levites. Yeah. So, like y'all was talking about. So you were mine. Yep. And so like we're saying, when we're dealing with the world, we're dealing with Egypt. Because like you said, Egypt is a beautiful calf. Mm. Yeah. You know, it's so, a lot in, it's so a lot we're going to build a golden calf to model this beautiful yeah, calf. It's a lot into that. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's a lot. There's a lot into that. <laughs> So I thought that's where y'all going. Y'all talking about well, the cow yeah, and the because, like I said, we because just there's we to cut it though. Yeah, we yeah. can't cover everything. But you, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I know where you're going. Yeah. So, so that's <laughs> but that's I, I'm just trying to drive that point home, and because I just want that point to be in everybody's heart. Mm -hmm. Either you are or you're not. Hmm. It's just that simple. And then, like I say, we we like to use the word levels. We understand things. Mm -hmm. There are levels. That you that you're on, mm -hmm. and you will attain certain things. You will attain a certain amount of mercy based on that. Mm -hmm. Like we're talking about blessing, you might get a a brand new Escalade and be like, "Thank you, Adonai." Mm -hmm. And she might be like, "Girl, I got a a cord, okay. and I shot it for ten days." Bless you. you know, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, just like the woman. With but it's perfect for you it's perfect for you perfect. yeah man. so in his mercy in his wisdom in his sovereignty he knows what's perfect for everybody That's good so point. when they when they questioned shahu and they said well if he's the one that knows us and he's the one that caused the thing to happen why don't he just in, in the sense he why don't he just flip the switch and make us all right mm -hmm. why, why does he way. why does he know exactly. we gonna do wrong but then expect us to do right because it's still your choice well, to do no, it. it's not. Well, it that's what, and then what did, what did Shaul say? What, say? what did Shaul tell him? He said, Who are you to question the way you are? Yeah, so he's like, Receive what you get. Mm. If you get the hundred accord, yeah. receive it. And if you need to shout, shout. If, you, if I see that. We're going to pray for it. <laughs> That's what they do in church, you know. Yeah. I see that hand. But it's like, if, 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 if she get the escalators, so my point, my point, that's what I'm trying to say. We keep making it seem like we have a choice in this. Because we've been taught that. We've been conditioned in this. I, I, it, this I never. Like I say, this is about here. I you are here about. now. Why? You think you made a choice to because, be here? No. You think you made a choice to be here? No. Because I've never felt that way. Hmm. And that's one that because was one what? of my I've never felt that way. And that 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 has always been one of my qualms with being a part of churches and things like that. I've never felt that I've always for me, I would always say I believe in something greater than myself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I felt in my heart that I don't know Adonai. And I'm trying to get to know him. So in my search, okay. I, I always say, you know, there's something greater than myself. So people would say, oh, well, well, how do you think that happened? Or what do you think, you know, what do you think you decided to? I said, well, no, that's not my decision. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. I, okay. I, that's we just talked about this a couple weeks ago. Let me, let me, I'm going to just, and you said you were searching for Adonai. And you said you didn't know Adonai, so you were searching for him. But what you didn't know is that he knew you. Mm -hmm. See, that's what you didn't know. Come on. That's the wisdom. That's the we talk about knowledge. That's the wisdom that we didn't have. That he know me. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I gave a testimony about my about my grandson. Man. And he came, he told my wife, he said, he said, Granny, God called my name. Mm. 
And of course, you don't dispute this and say, well, next time he calls your name, say, here I am. See, he knows that God knows him. Mm -hmm. I just say God because in that sense, mm -hmm. he, he know y'all know him. Yeah, the story is Sam, Samuel. 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 Like yeah. when, when Eli told told the little mm -hmm. boy, he said, uh, he said, uh, Eli, man, I keep hearing the Lord. He keep calling me. Mm -hmm. And Eli was like, Well, next time, they say, Here I am. Exactly. And yeah. you hear Moses and all say, Here I am. Yeah. So I was watching Naked and Afraid. <laughs> I used to watch that too. Yeah, I was yeah, watching exactly. the show. Yeah. Afraid. <laughs> survivalist. And he, and he came through there. <laughs> a survivalist. Yeah. He came through there and he said. Granny, dad and I watching naked people, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he know, he know, he know the Lord knows him. Mm -hmm. And he has the responsibility to say, wait a minute now. Mm. If I was watching naked people, y'all would be on me. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't supposed to be watching those naked people. My dad gets to watch naked people. It's a reflection. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. is that no cut? Not okay for me, but yeah. it's okay for you. Yeah. 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 Now, we know that that's a dynamic to it and all this. So, right. All that don't matter to him. Yeah, he just see he just see yeah. the raw. Uh, even oh, even yeah. when you say, even when you say I'm um, I'm searching for the Lord. You know, oh. and actually, we don't understand because the, the right word is seek, right? Well, but but go ahead, but, go, ahead but, go ahead. But what we don't hear is that he's seeking me. Mm. So I'm thinking I'm seeking for him, and I'm gonna find him when when he's the one that's pursuing me. Because right. he well, said, "My goodness, everything call. about him is pursuing me, not me pursuing him." So I'm thinking that I found something or. Through some effort of mine, or through some choice that I've made, right. that I've accomplished, I found something. I found right. this place. I That's found this called. person. It's like, no, watch out. You know, you they hit, found you. Hit me in the head, please. You know, because he <laughs> says, I'm, I'm sending, I'm sending a man to you. I've already sent you a prophet. I've already sent you my word. I've already wrote it on your heart. I've already gave you Second Peter everything you need. Mm -hmm. You know, so only thing you can do. In terms of choice, is rejected. Mm. You're not doing anything in and of yourself, other than receiving. You know, right. acknowledging, receiving that everything that came to me, he put in front of me to glean. You know, but mm -hmm. I, but I'm thinking, I'm gonna get up today and go search for something. Because mm. that's you know, like I said, the church doesn't teach us right. different than that. But the church do teach you. You can't wake yourself up. Well, yeah, and you can't yeah. breathe. You can't breathe well, you without know. his help. Yeah, yeah. So they do teach you that. They do teach mm -hmm. you. And so stuff. you ought to derive from that. Right. That wait a minute. They taught something. If I right. came, if I came and breathe, they have that a little bit. You know, and yes. some of them will tell you it's his air. He let you breathe his air. <laughs> so that kind of brings me back to <laughs> she said bring you back. and to, on the what's my face it? Where is it at? There I wrote it down. Mm -hmm. Where he talks okay. about he hardened Pharaoh's heart. Yeah. So he says, Moshe and Aaron, Aaron did all these wonders before Pharaoh, but Adonai had made Pharaoh's heart hearted, and he did not let the people of Israel leave his land. So I was like, whose land? Oh, Yah's land. Uh, he let me leave his land. Like, uh, so when you said that, like, no, this is his heir. This is his land. Right. All of, we are literally borrowing. So what did the psalmist say? The, the earth. The earth. And the fullness of it. And the he alluded to earlier about behavior of children. Oh, yeah. And so when your children acting up, not acting, acting, when they acting up, it's a different level. And you like, where, where is my child? That, that, ain't, that, ain't, that ain't the child we raised. This, he, this fool, so you better, you better, I'm leaving. Cause I'm about to knock him in the next week. Cause he he acting up. He, where where you get that from? And having so a child. Oh my gosh, that puts so much of life in perspective in this book. Family period into perspective. Family yeah. Period. But just like your relationships, because it's like stuff that my son does. I'm like, why won't you listen to me? Okay, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, why won't I listen to you? Okay, yeah, and it's like everything that I do to my son, or I say to my son, it's I have to think about it. Like, okay, yeah, I'm not doing that either. Right. You know? and so, and so, so I know you 
do you know yourself? Do you know that we raise you to not do this or do this like this? Mm-hmm. Don't you? Don't you? That's what you really want. to Don't you know this? And the child be like, no, I really don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I heard you a little bit. I mm-hmm. gave mental assent, but I don't. It, it ain't all up in it. here, you know. And that's why the word say, you know, when you train them, mm-hmm. that's an ongoing process. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It ain't raising them up, and it's 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 constant. Because right, constant. Yeah. right now during the raising you know? period, it's <laughs> everything still on the outside of him, like the seat seats and everything. Everything's around exactly. you to kind of remind you. And then they call it peer pressure, but you know all the outside influence is going to come and this and this. And every little young man going to go through his little phase when he get twelve, and all the women going to go through their phase. You know, and all this stuff. So there's what I'm saying. So now I know you, but do you know yourself? And so they're like, I don't. I, that's why you know we talking about Yeshua. So Yeshua acted perfectly in obedience mm-hmm. to Him. That's right. And he's like, I know you. I knew you yesterday because mm. you was acting like Daryl. <laughs> but today, you on that for that stuff for that joy they take. <laughs> for that joy they make you act all up. What you ain't salt? Oh, you know, like saying even red. Which one you talking about? That's a lot of it. Declaring minds. Starts with an S. Yeah, it's like spooky or something. Oh, I know what you're talking about. It's that one that make people look demonic and they start going zombie like spice. Right? No, it's not spice. It's bath salts. Anyway, no, he's talking about a drug. Anyway, no, bath salts is a drug. No, 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 no. Talking about seriously? Oh, that's that. We're just talking about behavior. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And now it's like so. So now if he acting up, he go home to Carla, and he acting up. She gonna be like, uh-uh. "This, right. this ain't working." No, I, I don't know this person. I'm, I'm leaving home. home. I'm not gonna open the door. Well, actually, told me before you, you can't go around them people no more. Cause you come home. <laughs> <laughs> when I with them, with my other Christian brother, you come right, home exactly. acting up. Exactly. You know. And that's a true. And that's a true testimony. Man, you tell me, oh yeah, yo, you just holding it now, now. You know, testimony. I was listening to them. And you need to get, you Some know, balance. not by my side. You need to get in line. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you, know, you know, you you think you equal, but no, you need. It, 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 exactly. They told me you need to be. By exactly. Me. So that's. I'm mad at Miss Carla. She said you better get away from me. Yeah, you know. And that's so, the deception. So that when we talk about just like a train, baby, you know, I'm the I'm the head. <laughs> so you know, you can't we, we can't be on two tracks. <laughs> one of us got to be in the There's front. Only one track. <laughs> you know. and, and that's that's the type of perception yeah, that house so. you in the influence. And so and you so think, and so we was reading you thinking we was reading this, uh you thinking you hear, but you actually hear. And we're like say we're reading it say because it says they were jealous. We talked about that word before, yeah. Because like, I gave it to you first, okay, and you didn't listen. You didn't mess it up. You know, you messed it up, and now you know I'm giving it to these people, okay. You know, and so like I said, we talking about you know, we're talking about the brothers in the hood. You know, you didn't follow the script, mm. so you know I'm going this way, and if you don't follow the script, you're gonna be burned up. You're gonna be lost with the rest of it. You know, mm. you're gonna be destroyed along with them if you don't follow my word. If you don't right. follow this cloud, if you don't follow my script. But he knew. He knew. That's why. He, that's why the whole planet was for Yeshua, because yeah. he knew what was gonna happen. So that's why we scatter now. See? Mm-hmm. And then so when we read. He's talking about the, you know, you know, to to go and do things. But that's why he scattered you. And he went the persecution. Oh no. Nigga. It ain't just about that. It's exactly. Like he, he got a. He, he, what what did, what, did, what did Joseph say? You sent me down here for bad. Exactly. But the Most High but made, most it, high made it, it for my good. See, the Most High knew all along. Mm-hmm. Just what you said, man. He had time. already gifted him mm-hmm. to interpret dreams. He had a gift. Mm-hmm. He already had That's the gift. The best. So again, like you said, we have this. we have in the Word. He says, <laughs> "There's Jacob, and then there's Israel." Mm. Okay. So you know, you always, you know, I'm talking to you in terms of Jacob to these people, but for those who can hear, As Israel. oh Israel, right? You know. mm. And and, he, and but you're still my people. And even with that, right? You just can't hear. But me. twins, one mm. coming out and the other one. Should, what do you say? You say nothing that he did, nothing that he saw did wrong. Right. Come on. It was the, it was his will. Period. Period. Because I got a plan. Wow. And you wow. need to know my plan. You need to fit into my plan. I gifted you. I've given you a purpose. 
that's what you need to do. You see now, and sometimes take their purposes too far. True. Yeah, exactly. You know, like I, you were only supposed to go this far with it, but you went that far with it, and so now I have to judge you because. And that's what he was reading about the the false prophets. Yes, they were going too far. Yeah. You know, he always go to Malik and Malachi, Mm. the priests and prophets. They would they we way too far. Uh, Who was it? Og sons? Was it Og sons? It wasn't Og. It was. What the fat dude name? The other fat dude. With the false fire sons. With the false fire. Oh, uh, Nadab and Abihu. Yeah. And it went too far. You know. And so on and on and on. It's, yeah. that, that's what it's saying. So I, you know, like I said, the mercy comes to a point. I, I determine my mercy. Mm. How far I'm going with you, because I know you in and out. I know how far, you know, this go. And I'm a quick testimony. Oh, yeah. Seems like my voice came back. Quick testimony. <laughs> Long Hallelujah. Praise. The reading was over. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> praise. Mm. Birds fly. Yeah, after the reading was over, his voice came back. <laughs> okay, yeah. That's a bird. Oh, yeah. 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 He said, do what I say or leave the earth. So what he was saying was, my mercy is not extended to you anymore Mm. unless you do what I say. Because you know you've been called for this purpose. Mm. And you had a choice to do what he said or not, although he knew what you were going to do, but you didn't know what you were going to do. I had a choice to choose life. Or death. Mm-hmm. Yep. I know, That's but, the only choice I had. I know, but earlier we were talking about, like, do you really have a choice? And I'm saying, although it's already been, quote unquote, predetermined, you don't know what the outcome is. So, therefore, you have a choice. He just knows what choice you're going to make. You have a choice. I agree. He, wait, wait, okay, wait a minute. Explain that to me. Break, break, break that because I'm, I'm, I'm seeing life or death. Deuteronomy 20. That's, that's all I'm seeing. Yeah, you have a choice for life or death. So now make me understand this other choice I have. And that plays in it too, the choice from life or death. But what I'm saying is that like he gives you, you can make choices. He already knows what the choice you're going to make. Okay. So people will say, well, if I don't really have to do it. It's all predetermined. Yeah, he knows, but you yeah. don't know. Well, so well, you well, still well, have right, to play yeah. out. Well, I agree with you to a point. Yes. And I'll shut up, though. but you kept, so you made me force my hand. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, <laughs> <laughs> so what we think is going on and what's really going on is two different things that's the same thing we were talking about about thinking I made a choice to salvation when you didn't I know what you're saying but I'm saying that we in our we don't know so we make the choice although the choice okay, has choice, been determined give me an example because I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm like trying showing to, up today. He's getting, he's he's trying to, get getting to a point. Showing up today. I know he's getting to a point, but I just can't think of an example right now. Like, 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 like the sister was just saying, he knows the whole plan. Right. You can either go left or right. Well, whichever way you go, he knows the outcome on both sides. I can't agree with that. I won't say I he knows the outcome on both sides. He knows which way you're going to go. I, 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 I just don't know which way I'm going to go at that moment. So when I made that choice, that choice was quote unquote predetermined because he knew what I was going to go, but I just didn't know it until I made that choice. I think I, I, I understand what you're saying. I do. He is a father to me. He's a father. So, he, you know, when I think of being a father or, you know, uh, the characteristics of a father. It's like when you or, or a mother, when you when you tell when you tell your child, um, you know, don't go and touch the stove or something like that. You know that that stove is going to burn their hand, right? You don't know, necessarily know that they're going to do it. You gave them the option because that's what I believe the greatest gift was was free will. He gave you the, you know, the free will of doing that. But he said, "Hey, don't don't go over here and do that." I don't think I don't think I'm not saying I'm saying he knows the plan. But 
to say that that means everybody's already calculated out to be he already has everybody calculated who, who's going to the lake and who's it's going already pre-appointed as opposed in here it said appointment calculate so there that means there's no repent there there how 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 can you call a sinner to repentance let, if, let if it's already this. calculated that he's going to you just don't know what you're going to do but said, he knows what you're going to do show, show, show said, that which i want to do i do not hmm. that what i don't want to do i do and he said why is that he said it's because of sin so he's like, I'm I'm done. Because everything I want to do, I can't do it. And everything I don't want to do, I do. I'm not making the choice here. So I don't want to put a plague on my people. I'm not making the choice here. I want to do this, but I can't. And so he said, Well, who's gonna who's gonna save me? Who's gonna rescue me from this terrible plight, this terrible state? And he said, None other than Yeshua. Because Yeshua has all authority. See. And so here's the thing, it's like, it's like sin makes the choice for us. We're not making the choice. But sin is a choice, though. No, it's not. Sin is death. No, it's not. Okay. He, sin he is gave death. us sin. That's what, that's, from, that's, that's what we've been conditioned knowledge. to believe. Sin is okay. death. Right. Yeah, but see, the thing is, but see, Christ had, it says Christ was obedient to the death. So you have to remember, it also says that Christ was tempted. So he had a, I mean, the, we know overall he chose to do right. Mm -hmm. He told Israel, choose life and live. No, no, he, he didn't choose. choose. He, he didn't, didn't know. He didn't the choose. word said he didn't know no other way. It said he okay. had no darkness in him. No, I, I He didn't know. That. He you was see. just doing yeah, what he, he was. Said, he, said, he didn't yeah, know he anything about it. Yeah, I, no, 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 I, I, think, I, think we're, I think we're not understanding each other. The point is, is that you, we're no, we were not going to say that Yeshua had a, could have sinned. He, he it was not in him to sin, but he was still tried. And, and you're gonna get tried. You're oh, gonna at the end of the day, flesh. you're gonna have to make oh, a choice. Okay. Because no matter what, you can't get right. away from that. But okay. we were we were choices cursed with sin or given heart. sin through through receiving knowledge wait, 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 of right wait, and wait, wrong. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> right. I got I got it. Start off. Sorry. We were born into sin. We were given that through receiving the knowledge of right and wrong, not in having the knowledge that everything is right and this is always going to go right. But when we receive the knowledge of good and evil, that's how we receive the, the curse of sin. OK, so when you for born, everyone when that you is born, born you, again, mm. when you born again, what happens? All of that is washed away. Oh, oh. really? Yeah, you got no church, no. Really? So he be worth it. you know something? I ain't even know that. Now, 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 yeah, I'm, I'm losing. <laughs> I'm, I'm losing my voice. He's about to lose it. You can't, you you can't put this, you can't line this up where it's going to go down the right path. Mm -hmm. Now you can debate it all day. Is you you can't make this right? But no more. It is what it is, and this is what we struggle with. This is why we struggle. Again, we're talking about identity because we don't know who we are. We're talking about born again. We don't know that we are innocent. We don't know when he look at us, how he sees us because we are born again or Israel, as we would say. No. I, I, I think I'm lost. No, I'm I, I, I think a few people are, no. but here's the thing. I'm, I'm, I've been doing this a little while. And like I say, especially this tour, it takes... You have to go around this thing a few times before your heart, you talk about the hard heartiness, but well, we all to some degree have hard hearts, but every time you go around, you lose a little bit of that. Ooh. And there's hard heartiness in us that we don't know about. There's sin. And we talk about the blood covers that sin that we don't know, but the Torah exposes it so that we'll know. See, and, 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 and when we do Torah, we, 
we because it's the first time, first year and all that we, but it's gonna come a point where we're gonna do tour we're gonna be in here talking about what's when he said go we're gonna everything to here to some degree we're line upon line precept on precept now now we're talking about what's going on in our lives and what happened in giving test and all that's good that's great that's wonderful that's what but this torah is what exposes stuff so that we would know ourselves better mm. see and so then as you get to know yourself better you know <clears throat> just like the psalmist said you 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 find out that all the time it was you mm. the whole time it was you even the time i thought it was me it was you it was either you or it was either sin and he said if you continue in sin you would die now you have a choice to live you have a choice to say i want to live so then now i'm taking the sin away from you but other words the penalty for sin is death so you choose in death you say so i won't take the sin away from you if you choose death and like you said he that's already previously he already know that so here's the thing it's like he's so big we read there today, he's everywhere. He's all things. We can't put him in a box and say so he just sit back and let his children do dumb stuff. You don't let your children jump in the pool and you know they can't swim. And then say, well, I'm gonna run over there and rescue you. No, if you ask for a fish, will I give you a snake? This is the mercy. This is the love of the Father. This is how much he loves us. I mean, he loves every facet of our being, every circumstance of our life. Everything is there. And the Ruach is here to make sure it happens. So just like you he took the Ruach out. Now, same thing. As long as the Ruach's here, everything is going to keep going just like it's supposed to go. Our, we take the Ruach out. Our last meeting that uh, we had last week, after we left here, I had a, a little engagement to attend. And I had a guy telling me how he is a God because he is set here with a word to give. So he is a God. And me being who I am, <laughs> with the little bit of knowledge that I have now, he turns to me and he says, so what is it that you want to do? So his question was, what is it that I want to do so he can direct me and guide me? <laughs> but this is what shut him up, which lets me know how he works. I said, well, I'm trying to find what my purpose is, what he wants me to do. Okay. He said, You alone. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then, then that guy can show all See, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. You know, so, you know, he, he had nothing else. Yeah, that was it. That, that was the shutdown right there. I said, I want to know what my purpose is for him. That's what my desire is. That's what I want to do. I want to find out what his purpose is for me. Okay. You know? So I feel Stay like, I, I don't know. I feel like I was hearing you, but I don't know. Like, so for me, the other day me and her were talking, I was like, I hated that we moved here to California, okay. right? And there's like all these things that happened along my life that I'm just like, I wish it never happened, woo, woo, whatever. Okay. But then I was like, now when I look at stuff, it was like, it all had a purpose, right? Right. There was decisions made along the way. He knew we were going to go that way. He knew what the purpose was that that he led us that way. He did not. I understand, but we did not know right. what decisions we were going to make at that time although he knew when i if i tell if i put this this situation she's going to go this way she doesn't know that she's going to go this way she thinks it's her her own thoughts that's giving her this way but i'm actually leading her through this way or whatnot whatever so, so, so i think what i was just trying to say was just that things are pre appointed he says people he pre-appointed we just we're just we just don't know right and we're just we're just living it out we're you know right so my point was when we started to think that we know 
Well, we go go we back. Think we just, go in three days, and there's so we going. I'm saying it's just the definition of term. When, when, whenever we say in choice, we thinking I, me, and we, like we're doing something. But the choice was it's he already made time. it. Yeah, so I get that. he already knew that the, the choice you would make. So the things in front of us was already decided. But we use the word decision like we're making a decision hmm. to do what was already done. Let's say we're we're playing it out. We just don't know how we don't know how the story but, ends. But to describe it, we're using the word choice, which is not the right word. Right. Because you're not making a choice. Right. You're just walking and just living, just existing. You know? and so like nowhere in the Bible do you read that Yeshua made a choice. He only said, I only do what my father in heaven is doing. I'm not choosing anything. That's still it's still a choice. Yeah. And if I there, can't if there and, was no and you choice, can't that yeah. word wouldn't be in the Bible. It wouldn't be in there. Where, where, we, where there's still a choice. Where, where's the choice? Where's the choice made in the Bible? There's By still, whom? There's still a choice. I'm just saying the word there is in the Bible, so just fact check it. I'm That's just going I'm by saying. the fact in, in, this, in this parasha where he said, where he talks about the Gentiles and he said the appointed ones. So meaning that even though they did not know that they were uh, the appointed ones and that's why they were receiving the information or whatnot, whatever he knew. So yes, the choice in a, for lack of a better word had already been made, but it wasn't like official until we made, it wasn't played out. I think that's what I'm more trying to say. Like we're playing out what it's going to be. I don't want to call it like destiny, um, but because we have a, I can sit here and say, well, you know what? What's going to be is going to be, and I'm not going to do anything. And then he knows that I'm going to do that, and then that's where my life is going to be. And he knows see, that. There you go again. I can probably. There you go again thinking you can do that. I can probably. You think you had the power. Too. You think you had the power to do nothing. You think you had the power to make the choice that I can just sit here and do nothing because my destiny is already. You underestimate the power of the most high. If, 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 you, go if you go back to Sodom, if you go back to Sodom, and uh, I don't know where it's at, um, where Abraham uh, uh, was pleading with him. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Where Abraham was pleading with God, mm -hmm. and he changed his mind. See, <laughs> perfect. So, so perfect. if he hey. was able to change his mind at that instant. Perfect example. Perfect hey, example. Hey. See, what you're missing is the whole thing was designed so that Abraham would come to him. It wasn't about all that other. It was about Abraham coming to him. That's what it was about. It's about Abraham interceding for him, just like Pharaoh asked Moses to intercede for him, no, just like Yeshua intercede for us it now. Was, but see, we look at plan. we look at it, it's just like we say. It's sometimes I, I'm guilty. We all him. It's about looking at the you can't see the forest for the trees. You don't see the ecologists, the ecosystem that's going on. You don't see the river and you don't see all this stuff. All you see is the trees. And so now it looks like woods. It looks like a scary place. It looks like this. It looks like that. And that's what that's what our mind play on. But there's a whole world in there. And so this is the whole thing. It, the whole world is here. Everything he does is 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 purpose. So now I'm trying to get Abraham to I mean trying to get Abraham to pray. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching Abraham. So if I do all this that. stuff, he he's gonna that. make all these choices that I already he, laid out because I know he's gonna make these choices. He just hasn't played it out yet, and at the end it's gonna be this. And he's gonna pray you, and quote unquote change my mind. But I already was gonna do this when he did this, like it already was determined. Right, he was already gonna change his mind to yes. whatever he was gonna do. Just like he said about the remnant. You know, I could I could have destroyed all of them. I've been justified in what I was doing. But because of my mercy, because of my grace, in this case, really mercy, you know, I'm showing them something. I'm teaching them a lesson. Same thing with the Pharaoh. This whole thing, he said, so that my glory would manifest, so that they would know that I am he and I mean I guess I can he could have chosen the way he wants to like I think that I'm not doing what he's telling me to do and that's delaying my blessings and whatnot whatever but actually um I'm doing this because something over here isn't ready and if I were to you know like because everything kind of plays together let so me it's ask been you, let me ask you a question are you a Calvinist no 
Hell no. So you you, you <laughs> don't believe in in somebody's predestination or somebody's pre- that's, that's what Calvin teaches. I, I I know I know what Calvin. I, what I'm trying to say is, but there's truth we under, to we, a lot we, of stuff. We, we, don't, es- a- we underestimate the workings and the power of. The I wish I could high. push pause. I need to use a restroom. But okay, one, 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 one time I'm trying to say turn, this. Turn on your phone. You want the bathroom? Right? I do, but I want. I just want to push pause real turn, quick. Turn on your phone. You, you, look, look at the YouTube while you go. You have a, you have a child. Yes, it's charging. Did you did you determine whether you was going to get pregnant or not? Did I determine whether or not? Yeah. I mean, I determined the act, but he made it happen. See, that's what I'm saying. You think you determined the act? Because if, if you if you didn't determine the child. Then how could you determine? No, that? and I already know what you're saying because I dreamt about this child like ten years ago, and like I already knew, like I already I know what you're saying. All I was saying was that we just don't know what the outcome is, so that we have a no, part I'm, to no, play I'm, I'm in it. The, I'm talking about the action itself. You're talking about the outcome. I'm talking about the action itself. So, like you said, if I don't know that I'm going to get pregnant, because there are people that do the act and still don't get pregnant. Yeah, but that, that, that's true. But they know the chance that it may happen. Yeah, they they know the yeah, chance, yeah. but the but the point is the chance is not the result. Exactly, and so he's the one that caused that to happen for you to do that, so that I can have this child. You had it can we? He was talking about the other day how the woman is 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 the vessel that he uses for life to enter in the earth, and you we thought well I'm my baby no you a vessel. Yeah, no, I get that. I'm just saying that all all I was saying is that we have a part to play in. In, course, in, yeah. in like say the the movie has already been the movie we, we just it's already been played out from the beginning to the end we just don't know the outcome so even though like you said we're making these choices and we think that we're making these choices they are we have been led or predetermined or he's doing it for a certain reason we don't understand the rhyme or reason we think it's us but it's really not us i get that okay all i was saying was just that in this in this life in this realm we because we don't know what the outcome is it appears to us as if we're making choices and i get it in here he says it's already appointed right and so he's telling you the outcome yeah here the outcome it's my like, footsteps like we, have like already been ordered I, I get we, that he said we win yes i already get it that my footsteps have been ordered i get that it's just that i have not taken those steps yet so it's not real until i actually there take those steps okay I can, I can i can get with that yeah it's not it's not or your reality the manifestation yeah. has not exactly. happened yet exactly but we don't, we don't so understand that that he is orchestrating all of it and so now like yeah. you said i dreamed about this child 10 years ago or was it a vision he gave you 10 years ago yeah and so now i everything that's going to happen whether you're going to turn right or going to turn left he already orchestrated so i think i decided to go left no you right. didn't decide he right. orchestrated it like you said, I give you the desire of your heart. Not you get a desire and then I give it to you, whatever you desire. So I'm the one who, who gave you desire to go right or go left. Just like when somebody says, well, I should have made X, Y, and Lentils. And I'm like, no, you made the decision you made you're supposed to make that nice. because you're here the way you're supposed to be. <laughs> if you made that other decision, you wouldn't be here. Or that, you know. And the, and the, and the, the very first time <laughs> I preach, I actually preach. You know, that picture, right. And I'm thinking, man, I did so bad. <laughs> I wish I had, and an old an elder, elder lady came and said, what's wrong? I said, I, 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 I don't feel good. She said, don't you know that you did exactly what he wanted you to do? Don't you know? Because I had stopped in there, and I saw a figure standing right next to me, and I was going to say one thing, and he said, say this. And I said, you want me to say that? And everybody looking around like, who the hell he talking to? You know, this, I knew this mother was crazy. You know, and so, and then it's like, so then, but, and then I had to come to peace with that, what the lady told me. So then afterwards, I got letter after letter after letter. In fact, the guy, it was a guy who had a Cadillac. <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to give you a ride home. Because I, I, I was, I was, I'm going to give you a ride home in my Cadillac because I want to, I want to. And blessing just start coming, and so I that he was all he all he was doing was valid confirming that I did what he wanted me to do. In my mind, I messed up royally. See, I could have got into guilt, I could have got into oppression, I could have got into anything, but he showed me that. 
he confirmed it. He validated me. And so now because he's given me these blessings, now we get the mindset, oh, you know, if I go preaching and so he's going to bless me. No, he gave me the blessing for validation. It wasn't because I'm going to give you all these blessings. I'm going to give you all this money. I'm going to give you that. I already got you. So for me, it's kind of like a movie. You know, there's a script that's been written or whatnot, whatever. We don't see the rehearsal uh, going scripts. on. Yeah, yeah, we just see the actual movie. And as you're watching the movie, you're like, ooh, what's going to happen next? Ooh, what's going to happen? It's already been determined what's going to happen next. We just don't know what's going to happen next. Well, right. The only so difference is in this movie, you yeah. can't fast forward. Well, like I said, exactly. for, for lack of uh, understanding, <laughs> you like when you, <laughs> we use the word. And that's, words, and that's the sad <laughs> part. You can't rewind. Yeah, yeah. Well, know, like you said, because for, for, for lack of understanding, we use the word right, English year. words <laughs> to to because because that's that, that's the language we speak. And so we use the word like choices and stuff that it don't line up when we when we come in here. You know, because it's like all we're doing, like you said, going backwards through our through time. Right. Already living out what he has already orchestrated and scripted. So every wrong that you would do, every sin, he he already knows. It. Yep, it's already been done by somebody else. So we think, well, I don't know why I did that today. It's been done by you. Well, he knows why you did it today. He he knew yesterday why he knew to he know tomorrow. Maybe yesterday, in fact, he knew the dark but, part of you, and he knew that sin was we, in but, you. You didn't know why. But we are not taught to no. think the way we're being taught now to think, you know, we, we're taught to think that, you know, we uh, look just, what we, I can do. Or just like, you know, you see somebody who's lived their life a certain way all their life. Right. And then one day something happens. You're like, how did that person do X, Y and Z? Well, it was already I he already ordered for that person to do X, Y. And, Z, and it might look out of character, for, but I already I want that's for a purpose. You know, so we don't ever, well, even though it looks like a certain taught, way. We're taught through philosophy and psychology, like there's there's consequences for every action. Well, action, action, right? So now I, I did an act, rather be good or bad. So now I received something good. Well, it's because I did that. I did. So now I'm going to go out and preach. If you do what I did, you'll get what I get. All good stuff. Right. But if you do... The wrong thing, you're gonna get the consequence. But then, but then we we ask the question: Well, why do bad things happen to good people? Exactly. We we don't understand, you know, because because we're looking at it in terms of what the psychologists and philosophers taught us. You know, if you do this, you're gonna get this. Western. You know, if you do this, you're gonna get this. You know, and it's like, but we don't. But we're not looking at. And one day I'm gonna get to ask this question, but it's already four thirty. But we talk about his name. You know, well, who who is he to you? And then we don't really know. So we read his name and we're saying, well, he's the most high. He's Adonai. He's God. But in terms of now, now I walk out this door, and the real question, like 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 uh, Yeshua asked Peter, who do you say I am? Right now, you know, if I walk out that door and somebody stand in front of me, who who is he? What's his name? Well, he's Adonai. I don't want you know. I'm out there. I, I don't know who you're talking about. He's my father. You know, and so now I'm learning his name. And so, and so, like I said, he manifests himself through his name, but he's everything. Yep. So in this situation, I'm calling him this, and so now right here I'm this. So if I need a healing, and I'm and I need to know his name, but I'm asking for, uh, I'm asking for some 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 money <laughs> but that's not who i am not right now so you call me you're not calling me by my name you know and so so now i'm gonna make a choice i think i'm gonna make a decision because should i go to work should i go to this work for this person or not you know or what's his name you know <laughs> you know because like i said if you're gonna deal with the world if you're gonna deal with egypt then he he said paul says don't expect nothing well, you know, he said Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, no expectation. But when I'm dealing with Israel, when I'm dealing with him, he says I should have an expectation. I should anticipate a great expectation, and I already know what that expectation is because he told me what it is. But now, but now I'm going to go out there and expect from them what what he's given. 
He says, no, I'm distinguishing myself from Egypt and Israel. You know, you're not going you're not going to go out in Egypt and get Israel. <laughs> That's a different kingdom. Yeah, exactly. I you know, mm -hmm. you know, and so don't expect nothing. You know? And so, like I said, we, you know, we go to work, we work for people, we work out there in the world, you know, and so I think the real difficulty we have is, is not always the job, it's the people. Because everybody in our environment are not, we don't talk the same language, you know. I mean, most people in my environment, man, they they cuss and smoke like nobody's business, you know. You know? But, but even, even in the environment of what we call good people, people that receive blessings, mm -hmm. Israel is still set apart from that. Yeah. <clears throat> not only we're set apart from the world, we're set apart from that. So we keep talking about the church, you know, and I don't, I don't want, I don't like to get into all that because, like I said, there's a, there are people that are Israel that is in the church. They don't know it. Right. There are people that live the life. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. you know. So, but we are separated even from that. Yeah. You know, for most of that, we're separated from that. There's a, there's a, there's a greater awakening. There's a greater calling. There's a greater degree of expectation from Him. True. And so that's why we read. That's why we read the word so that we can understand what he expects from us corporately as is. And then we come to find out like he was talking about <clears throat> perfect individually. But see, we can we can waste 32 years. She was talking about we can we can even be in a setting like this and waste 32 years of making choices for that I made. And it still not be the right choice. Because we think we have to make choice. This is this is Greyhound. You know, you lead a drive into to, to, to mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I did a um I don't want to call it a sermon, it was more like a message that I gave to my mom and dad's church one day. And when I was giving it after I got done, kind of like you, I was just like, I meant to say this, I meant to say that, I didn't get to this, I didn't get to that. And I didn't feel like I didn't feel like pumped after like, yeah, I did a good job. I was just like, it sucked. Like I forgot to say this. And you know, I didn't prepare. I was supposed to do all this preparation and all this stuff happened. And I didn't get I literally had to like write it the night before and all these other things I wanted to say I didn't get to. But after that sermon or message or whatever, I had so many people come up to me saying, That's exactly what I need to hear. That's exactly what I need to hear. So it was like, okay. It wasn't written for me. It was written for you. Exactly. You know, but in my mind, it was like, no, I wanted it to go this way because this is the message that I wanted to deliver. And that's another reason why we got to tell because now, like I said, dude said, I studied eight hours to get a 20 minute sermon. And I'd be damned if I'm studying eight hours. You ain't going to sit here and listen to me. Wake him up because he going to hear it. You know, you're you're going to hear it. You know? and, and that's that's going to get, that's fleshly. Take your babies mm -hmm. out right. the room. Mm -hmm. and then, that's right. flesh. You know, and so, so, yeah, but so we were talking about uh, them brothers used to argue about the preaching schedule. You know, they can't wait to preach. And it's like, well, if you really, if you really did a good job, you should feel humiliated because you, because you humble and, and you've exposed some things and you really, you really have, uh, like I said, exposed yourself, and that's and so you're not left feeling great, <laughs> right? Because because I've included a lot of my own mistakes, Flash. misfortunes, sins, and so Flash. and giving testimony. So now I shouldn't be pumped up, <laughs> turning cartwheels out the room, think about the all you can eat lunch we about to go through. You know, not when I just I just poured everything out. You know, and so yeah, who. No, no. Who it had an effect on, we may never know. Sometimes people would acknowledge it. Sometimes years later, somebody might say, yeah, I remember you You did this, you know. But everybody's looking for that that great feeling, these fireworks, you know. And, oh, man, you know, the high five, you did so good, you know. And I want to feel it, you know, but I don't feel it. You know, so so that, that, we're, that we're humble. How, how much do we humble ourselves? What's, what's, how far should we go? Is there a degree of humility? Hey, uh, That's it. Huh? Is, there, is, it, is it ever going? Do we ever keep ever it's, it's, get to a place where I don't have to humble myself? No. 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 I'm like, no, I didn't know where you're going with that. No. So, so, when, so, so, so if I'm constantly humbling myself, you know, constantly in that sense, going down, I'm trying to take away from anything that I've done. 
We're going to start with this. Until I get where? Flat. Flat. In a sense of prostration. And then we in that prostration plays on the soul. What I do? Reading. Pray, worship. Uh-huh. That's, that's what we're talking about. Worship. Because then right, it's at that point where I understand that everything, that he's everything, and everything is him. It's only at that point where I can understand that. At that point of humility. You know, and you look at so even Job is like, why you put Job in the dirt? And Job didn't, and the words he Job didn't do nothing wrong. See, and if you try to make sense of that from a logical standpoint, you try to make a decision, that, that's, you know, it's, it's purpose. It's all about purpose. And then threw him out. Huh? I said, then threw him out. <laughs> no. And then, and then he used him to pray to intercede for those that came again that didn't understand. Because <laughs> everybody had an answer. Like, like I said, when we in the age of information, everybody got an answer. You know, it's an answer. I got an answer. I got an answer. But well, you get the answer he gave you for what you can do. That's to where the truth roots come from. That part of me. Some have more, some have less. But it's still relevant. I mean, it's still relative, you know, across the board. It's, it's the parable about the man. One man went to work early in the morning, the other went late in the evening, and they got the same wage. But they agreed to the same thing. And so it then it, it don't seem fair. That I work 12 hours and he only worked three hours and we get the same amount of money. You try to put logic to that, it's not going to work. It's agreement, it's acceptance, and it's agreement. But mm. I've equipped you to work 12 hours and it seems like three. If he worked 12 hours, he'd die. We don't, we don't, all, all of those factors goes into the most high when he created us and he know us and he know what he did and what we do our capability limitation all that kind of stuff but the, the only determined fact is sin see and all this is like this and we have to do all it because of sin no no i understood father mew said <laughs> hallelujah Told me, but okay. I'm not understood. I ain't had a choice. Told me what I was gonna do. Hmm? <laughs> Even the mule, huh? The stubborn is a mule. Is. Even you gonna move when I say move? That's hmm. what I was. That's what I, that's what I was yeah. doing. In the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the brother he had was trying to get people to understand the difference between the promise, inheriting the promise, and inheriting the blessing. You know, through the through the promise of Abraham, but all nations of the earth would be blessed, but not everybody going to receive the promise. And this and this is <laughs> blessed and, now. Yeah, even now, even I'm the blessed the, now. Yeah, but even now, yeah. And this is see, these are promise hard. eternal life. Huh? Promise is eternal life. Okay, you can you can you if when okay, you work it. Okay. And the blessing is just on earth. Right? Okay, blessing. Okay, I'm just asking the question. question. Somebody can go to hell, as we call it, as we, we and, uh, and be blessed. And be blessed. Okay, that's what that's what that's not, 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 not blessed guess. to get and be happier than you who inherit eternal life because you don't even know how happy you should be. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what you just got. Mm-hmm. You won't even you, you you won't even praise him or worship him for eternal life because mm-hmm. you don't even don't even know the degree that there's nothing that can match it. Well, you said even if come up to judgment, she, you can still get in and be saved. True. But your position, as True. far as being over something great. Yeah, that's, that's another. Well, that's, you know, like I said, where story, where yeah. your seat is, you might be in the nosebleed seats when you could have been in you my right hand. I got in. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and that's what a lot of people preach. Most people just happy to be saved. And that, that's I'd rather it. be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than to dwell in the tent of wickedness. True, They're like, true. I just got in. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, you know, I, I don't, some of these things are hard to absorb. You know, when you say, when we say that we're Israel, you know, 
it, it, it moves beyond a realm, you know, and we should operate in the sense like gods, not in pride and puffed up and, or, you know, like Pharaoh, that was an example of, you know, and he told him, I mean, you will be like a god to him. So Pharaoh was a puffer fish. But he's exactly, but, it, but he said, but he said, he, he would, said, Moshe was what? The most humble man on earth. The King James said, me. You know? So nothing was going to phase him in that regard. So even when he was wanting to make the choice that I ain't going to do it, because I can't talk or whatever. And he's like, well, I already got air on there for you. And I think part of that meekness and all that, because the meek will inherit the earth and exactly. the kingdom and stuff. But I think what a lot of people forget is that we're so focused on the afterlife and eternal life that you can actually have like heaven here exactly. on earth right now. If you just follow his laws and his commandments and do what he tells you to do and live in, in Shalom and all that stuff, you can actually have all that right That's now what the messiah said the messiah said the kingdom is the thing yeah <laughs> that just came to a realization to me like two days ago like i was thinking on some stuff and it was just like you know you know it but now it's like i know that i know that i know it's like yeah it was like we were talking about the eddie murphy house yeah i wanted the eddie murphy house they were telling me you can get it you can have it you can do this 10 million and he was like if i oh, wanted you to have the eddie murphy house by now your old but head but you'd have had the eddie murphy house See? And it's like I never, it never for you to have the Eddie Murphy house, but he gave me a house, literally. And so now I want, I'm gonna do some upgrades, and then one of one of came by, came by and said, "Well, won't you move in the house and and, and don't worry about the upgrades." That was a prosperity mover, you know. You can sow anything you want, but he didn't say you can have anything you you want to have. <laughs> but that goes back to the desires, like you said, the desires of the heart, mm. based on purpose. See, I'm not. So if you, I'm, so if you I'm, sown, I'm not going to give you for a house, or you sown for a car, and you think? Did you say sewing for a so house? Sewing yeah. for my sewing, yeah. Like reap what you sow. Oh, like stuff. Not, and not, not, not that you can't have a house, but if you're looking for some dream house that he didn't, he don't want you to have, and you don't know, you know. But I'm trying to get into a six six room mansion. And it ain't got nothing to do with the kingdom. Oh, I, just, I just want yeah, Your I just purpose. want it because I want it, you know. Uh, then uh that's not that's not how we sow and reap. And if we align our will with his will, then we'll be wanting and asking right. for the things that he wants to give us anyway. Because that cause that, so, house, that house he's might be responsible for doing that. Well, I said we have if, to accept if it to align yeah. us up. Because there's something like that. He the, he said he gives seed to the soil. <clears throat> so, if if it's based on a, a, a re re reciprocal system, then I have to give you what you need in the first place in order for that to happen. Yes. So so the answer was to me: How much have I given you? Well, you giving me this much, and even that, you and you haven't even sold a hundred percent of that. You don't even trust me to the point where you can give a hundred percent of that. That's what I was saying earlier. Everything he's ever going to give you, he's already given you. We just need to know how to accept it, which would be by aligning us Keyword. with his will, doing what we're what he's supposed to be doing, and Keyword, accept. accepting it, right? And access it. Well, if we talk about salvation, we we didn't. We just accepted it. In in the sense of how we you know mm -hmm. we we accepted. We didn't do nothing, but people will try to make you believe you did something. You didn't do nothing. Yeah, so that's like if someone says, "Oh, I'm so proud of you." You're like, no, no, it wasn't me. And you, and you, it was and, God. It and wasn't you me. You hear Joseph and Moses. All I'm saying, it was him. Mm -hmm. Yeshua constantly talked about it was him, constantly, consistently. And it's like, so then all of that should cause us to, like the song said, if I had a thousand tongues, I couldn't thank you enough. To constantly give praise, to constantly worship, you know, but you can't do it unless you walk in the humility. So it's kind of like one of those paradoxes where they were talking about about a baby born, we we shout, we celebrate, 
and somebody died, we mourn. Mm -hmm. So explain that Isn't one. Isn't that backwards? That's what I was thinking. I said kind of explain like... that one to the legalistic mind or explain that one to the to the, to the fleshly mind. Word? Huh? Doesn't it say <laughs> how we should rejoice in the word about a birth and a death? Yeah, it does. It, it, the way it was written, it was in a certain state. You have to go through a lot of things. And so that's parallel. It don't make no sense. You know, the way things are set now, the way it ran, the way we are taught, that don't, that don't make sense. But when you are walking in humility, you start to understand. You know, you start to understand. So the longer you live, the more you understand that, you know, these things I've encountered along the way, you seen some sad things. You know, but yet you're worthy to have seen them, you worthy to have been brought through, you worthy to have been blessed, you've been worthy to receive eternal life. He counted you righteous, he counted you all these things. Through all of that, that was there. Every moment there's all kind of things happen that he brought you through. And so, like we say. Sometimes we ought to be crying. Humility will make you cry. Mm -hmm. Mercy will make you cry. Yep. And I keep trying to shut up. <laughs> but your voice keeps coming back. I'm sorry. I, I, I really am. I, I'm trying, but I, it's, 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 it's what you say the spirit overflows you trying to shut up but he ain't trying to have yeah, well to shut up. i guess so but it's, it's you can't i, I got a question yeah, for I, yeah. It's, just, it's just things that the gift of Sean. being israel we we, we need Sean, i had a question for you okay what is the month of avi okay good we can get back to the hmm. month of ripe barley what month is it what yeah. month it is in our calendar right now um it would be it would be sometimes starting in march or sometimes in april um how you would tell uh how you would tell this um like over in jerusalem they will look for ripe barley when when the when the when the head is out of, you know the head is in the what is it the head is in the bud um if you go back to exodus what is that nine uh when it says the the the, the barley was struck uh-huh when he um, <laughs> or the barley was struck or something like that was struck with the hay with the i mean with the hail in the fire yeah uh -huh. so it means it means right part enough to put in the sickle so it's like a it's like a handle with like a curved yeah we had a weird weird winter yeah so weird what winter. month is the the it would, it would the it would, first it would start so so Day in of our the year. okay in in our Gregorian calendar, um, you would determine it um, by the the first new moon or the first crescent after the first ripe barley is seen. So start looking for it in like February. You know what I mean? So sometimes it can happen in March. Sometimes it can happen in April. So that first sliver of moon that would be what we consider our first day of the month so that so that, that would be the first day that we start to um, so after you look for the after you look for the right barley after you look for the right barley you see the right barley then you'll know that the the the, the moon that that crescent that first sliver of crescent mm -hmm. would be it's your easy. Day one of, of the Mesa. day of the first month. That would be day one, first month. And so that that's would called be, the month of Aviv. So that would so be the first day of the Mesa. That would be no. That would be the 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 day of Matzah starts the fourteenth day of the month of Aviv. So the month the month of Aviv is what twenty eight or twenty nine days. I have to look at it again. It's thirty one. Um, so the the fourteenth day of the first month starts the eating of the the matzah or unleavened bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so it does okay. take some um, it does take some practice. Okay, but it says 
the holy day starts on the 10th day of this month so the the 10th day of the first month was they were supposed to get the lamb have the lamb prepared so they can look at it inspect it and then you had seven days from that day you had to clear your home of uh, the 14th day so to clear your home of from the 14th Come day on. to the 21st day, you are to have no leaven in your home. So yeah, you can start you can start getting the leaven out on the 10th day, 11th day, 12th day. Just make sure it's not in there on the 14th day, definitely. And now I was reading, and through Jewish tradition, somewhere down the line, in the in, in the in the CJB, mm-hmm, yeah. they added boiled eggs. Yeah. Oh, to the Seder. But where does that come from? Yeah. Um, I'll have to bring that up. Actually, I should bring it up next week. Because um, my there, thing there, was, there if everything things, was supposed to be roasted, why would you boil eggs? Well, there are some things from the the Babylonian the captivities egg. that uh-huh. some of the Jewish people it's actually a roasted egg. Uh, uh-uh, I said boiled. I'm telling you how they do the Seder now. They roast the egg. Oh, they roast it now. Okay, they don't. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's 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 more so a lot of traditions that have came on from the Jewish people or some of the people who have converted or some of them might be actual Jews. I don't know. I can't determine that. However, after the after the Babylonian captivities, they've actually taken on some traditions. They've added them to their oral law. Um, mm-hmm. I will go ahead and pull up from the oral law that they have or the Talmud. I'll actually I'll actually um, <laughs> go to that and and print it out or you can go to it yourself i i know i know where it is i just have to go back and um go to the reference for it because i i looked that up a while back. oh I, it's um what did it say from the talmud which section or did it not say let because me see. sometimes they tell you oh it's just tradition <clears throat> and they don't give you a reference to where it's in the talmud did it say tradition say jewish observing no, it doesn't say okay. where in the Talmud. No problem. I'll go. I'll go ahead in the Talmud. I'll look in the Talmud, which is pretty much where they keep their their Mishnah or it just their says, oral law. Later in the tradition. history, rabbis added a fifth. They uh, added. They, they added it. Correct. So wine. It's Second Temple Judaism. Yeah, so pretty yeah. much. Um, yeah, and 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 that's that's um, Corinthian. Pretty much something added, and it's not in the book. It's not in the Bible. Um, so they added it, and I'll, and I'll give you the reference. And they even changed it to an eight-day festival instead of a someplace fourteen yeah. days mm-hmm. in Jerusalem. Yeah. Well, yeah. is it in, outside or in? Um, it's, it is in Jerusalem. Let me see. It says modern yeah. observance, and yeah. it just says through symbolism and Jewish families. It didn't get corrupted when they came out of Babylon. You know, I don't, no I don't problem. Wanna, I don't yeah, it, 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 it like took me. It definitely took me a while to learn that stuff. I don't want to recognize it like the Babylonian. The 2013, 2014. That's when I started it, really you know, getting into the Talmud you know, myself you know, and actually seeing you know. where a lot of this stuff came from. So I will definitely. Um, I'll either send you a link if anybody wants me to send them the link. I will definitely send you that. I will send you the exact link for where it is in the Talmud why they say they do it and 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 all that stuff because it's okay. definitely it's in, it's an added thing after they came out of babylonian captivity a lot of things were corrupted you know by the you know jews who came out of that captivity so they they added on some traditions now what i'll say is traditions all traditions are not bad right you just have to look at the intent or the <laughs> traditions or look at if somebody's trying to put the traditions over the commandments you see what i'm saying you know you know so some things are not supposed to be added some things are not supposed to be taken away um i'm not taking away from tradition at all but sometimes tradition you have to really go back the commandments are the written word the commandments are the written word and sometimes the tradition sometimes they have the tradition and sometimes the traditions are okay but when the, the when the traditions contradict the word or actually make a corruption to the written word, then you know you do have an issue with that. Yeah, I was just so, reading that. Um, but sometimes you know, like I said, the egg thing, you know, it's like okay, just you got that. you got a star tape mixed in with the mix, you got extra mm-hmm. mixed in with the mix. Jeremiah. You know, you have to be careful of certain things. So I'll definitely give you, um, I'll give you some references on that. I'll give you the reference with the Talmud, 
and then I'll give you the references of, you know, um, I know on the, the Seder plate, you know, why they wanted an egg there, I'll give you some of that. Too. So when you send that email to him, just include my name on it. Too. Sure. Okay. So Thank what's you. the live link on this? Or do you have to be added? It's, a, or... it's on my YouTube page. It's a 916, Sean, Sean. So 916, S-H-A-N, S-H-A-N. One word. One word, yeah. Nine, That's because my name's so shine. nice. You got to say it twice. Sean, Sean. Nope. <laughs> See, I got jokes too. No play. <laughs> We good. <laughs> Add me to the link too. Okay. Add if you link. haven't already sent me I'll information, send yeah. How about we good. We good. And FYI, to anyone here or listening, if you need references, resource materials to any subject you're studying, let me know. Hit Rosanna. I'll send you PDFs, or I'll you send you from the me. information of where to go look at it in a book, encyclopedia, or whatever. I just want people to bother you. That's all. <laughs> Right now, you, you forgot my phone's off. It's a peaceful thing. On last days, like final, like end of the day prophecies, like wilderness, the rapture, all these end time prophecies. Everybody keep talking about. I'm examining every single one of them at this moment. Nice. So, if you guys would like to reach out to me and find out more about certain things that are commonly being taught, to show I, I'm, I'm going through them and I'm examining every. Or you can just, you know, I don't know, do a YouTube video or something. Sounds like you know? a really good study VA. <laughs> I look forward you know, to how, how it comes out for you. Old, the old messages lately. That's going to be. Notice. Yeah. By request of a wonderful it, it takes study. It takes some time to actually put stuff together for YouTube. So we definitely work on that. It does. Yeah. That's some stuff to take up. We make, we, we make sure nobody can put any holes in it. You know. That's why it takes yeah. a while. That's why it's, it, it, <laughs> take, it takes a yeah, It takes a while. Because yeah. you got to look at everything. Y'all know about photo bombs? <laughs> just, well, you know, I was just asking just because I, I want to be in in, in y'all study in when y'all. No, I want to be in y'all study when y'all. You know, y'all going through your research. Okay. You know, so but as y'all you know, they serious. As, yeah, I know because as y'all okay. discussing, I'm gonna be like, I got a question. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> that's <laughs> where he <laughs> comes in. <laughs> I'm way. I was waiting for a punchline because I knew it was coming. Hey, Corinthian, I'll tell you like this, everybody. I got the Zoom account, and you know, I know Alicia, Rosina, Maya, VA already know. We can we can get it in on the Zoom. Yeah, you could do a Zoom yeah. on the the last day, and that way it's just, just ask all questions. That's all. Hey, you guys like to hear? I'm putting it together. It's gonna take take a little time. It takes a little while. Long, 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 make sure I'm being real. No, but I definitely want to hear. Like I have been studying that since I was little, but now mm. that I'm in this, like I know it's gonna look a whole lot different than what it has looked like. Yeah. You know. You ain't got no choice. I, you're right. You're right. I have no choice. Y'all, y'all are right. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we cool. We good. We gonna do a prayer. This was beautiful. Edify. See, and this is real life right here. Thank you. And real life helps us. I'm sorry. Man. Okay. So, uh, anybody out there watching, or who will watch later? Hopefully, something. That we said is edifying. Please go back and fact check, verify, validate. We hope that the rest of your week will be good and blessed. We hope that your families will be good and blessed. And we hope you sustain your personal relationship with the Most High. Uh, make sure that gets strong. And uh, make sure you continue to have a, a, a peaceful and blessed week. All right, Shabu So I'll uh, close out with a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for bringing us together on your lovely and wonderful Sabbath, Heavenly Father, so that we can understand your kingdom better, understand you better, <clears throat> Heavenly Father. We thank you as the day is your spirit is the most nigh. We just want to get acquainted with your spirit. We want to know, we want to be led and guided into all truth, Heavenly Father. We thank you for choosing us. And we thank you for forgiveness, Heavenly Father. We thank you for open mind, heart, and spirit, Heavenly Father. Come through 
and have your way each and every time, Heavenly Father. Thank that's you. that's what our prayer is, Heavenly Father. Thank you for every last one of us here who participated, Heavenly Father. Thank be you. with every last one of us. Continue to give us knowledge and understanding and wisdom to be able to apply your word, Heavenly Father, in our daily walk and journey. We thank you. We give you all the praise and the honor and the glory, Heavenly Father. If we had 10,000 tongues, we couldn't praise and thank you enough. Thank you so very much. We love you with all of our heart, Heavenly Father. Thank you. We ask these and all other blessings in your darling son, Yeshua's name. But Shem, Yeshua HaMashiach, Nah. Amen. 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 Now we have a snippet of it, but...